Remember, this is not my stimulus clip. We're working on it. All you need to do is pull the Yeah, right. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. This is kind of a double and something in between. And yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I hope you enjoy yourself. Yeah. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah. Ask him how the sound is. Sound check, sound check. Please tell me how the sound is, everyone. Let me know, let me know. Someone needs to, uh, yeah, looks like Coco, of course, 100, get us a hike I, I don't barely speak Twitch. You Sound know, is good according to George Lexfire. I don't even know what half of them right, are yet. That is awesome. And I've been <laughs> we are at doing this for away. like four years now, and, and I'm still kind of half of all this. It is on. Yeah, I don't know good to see everyone. I don't have yeah. shout outs, everyone, so please uh, note that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My voice sounds like a symphony. It sounds like a dwarf. He's going a little higher according to Duff. I mean, according to Gary Julian, we're working on it. Yeah. All right. <sighs> See, sometimes when you have simplistic things, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the audience so, should know that I was trying to do something with Jimmy Duffy earlier this morning, and we took two hours of cables back and forth. So you have to you realize this is, this is good accomplishment to get this up and running in like 20 minutes. Yes, so exactly. Yeah. So everyone say hi to a legend. Mike Merles is with us. Because he can now, unfortunately. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately, right? So, yeah. yes. After all these years, yes, I never yeah. saying hello to you in chat. Yep. So uh, yep. that, that is awesome. Yep. We got Mike Merles with us. So Mike and I had a real interesting conversation late last night as I'm walking down the hall. We actually bumped into each other. and uh, But that was more, we're talking Battletech a little bit more. Okay. Staying away from the D&D &D yeah. for the most part. So Mike, how are you? I'm doing well. I just got finished running eight hours of D&D. &D. Oh, wow. Awesome. So, uh, great time, great players. Well, and, what did you uh, run? So, it was the Incarnate Tournament. Okay. That, uh, that you know, was part of Founders and Legends. Yeah. So, the morning, we started with, uh, we played every edition of D&D. &D. So, this morning, it was 3-5 and 4th yeah. edition. And then, later, on the second half, it was, uh, the last uh, four hours, it was 5th edition. Okay. So, oh, wow. And I was happy with how much of 4th edition I remembered. Like I was yeah. able to get mm -hmm. back into it, yeah. And the uh, it was really interesting seeing so, so how the what, game. Changed. Yeah, what 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 is kind of when you went down memory lane and and re what what kind of what came impression came out of it now? So the biggest thing, yeah, is going. So we played OD and D, mm -hmm. AD and D, a mix of first and second, then yeah. uh, your, your three point five, four five. Yeah. The biggest change is seeing how much the game swapped from essentially a negotiation between player and DM. Yeah. For OD and D, it's just like. You don't roll to search. I mean, you do for specifically secret doors. Yeah. And if you are playing with a thief class, you know, you have, okay, search for traps. But most of it is the DM describes something, and then the players try to, oh, okay, like, you describe the way the box is set up. Well, can yeah. I, if I push it to the side, it's is there anything under there? It's kind of players yeah. trying to, uh, with the DM and vice versa. Yeah. So, okay. 
Yeah. And it's that loop of the conversation of like DM describes, player yeah. describes, DM reacts. And mm -hmm. so it really is that is so much the root of the game. Yeah. And then that's where you get this sort of mind games, I mm -hmm. guess I'd say. Like, yeah. is the DM trying to trick the players? Is it collaborative storytelling? In some ways, it's very pure DMing. And it's yeah. just like your DM style overwrites everything because the mechanics are so slight. Yeah. And they are essentially beyond just simple, like, I attack something. Well, how do I attack? Um, or it's like, well, I cast the spell, and then often the spells are somewhat vague. Mm -hmm. So then as the DM, you're still And deciding. there are few. It doesn't happen that ma many in, exactly. in a session. Yeah. 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 And so and it's interesting to see as things get more codified. Yeah. And, you know, it's it's something I've been really thinking about a lot. You know, I've been thinking about designing a game. Um, and one of the things I've been really thinking of is uh, I ran a lot of Shattered Arc last year. Cool. And I liked the flexibility of it. And in some ways, the characters don't have a lot of special abilities. Uh, and the players liked it. Now, I have very veteran players. It doesn't yeah. work for everybody. But one of the things they said was, well, it was nice knowing that we couldn't fight everything we met. That the default was to try to interact with the scene I was setting. Well, we're going to try yeah. talking to this thing instead mm -hmm. or sneaking around it. Yeah. And then having, like, the core, like, check mechanic from, mm -hmm. like, you know, third edition onward. Yeah. Uh, backing that up a bit. And so, but on the other hand, I find, like, so I've been working on designing a new game, and I still like putting cool abilities on people's character sheets, right? I still yeah. like making a class that mm -hmm. has, oh, here's your nifty thing. And the, uh, so I don't really know how to resolve that. Like, maybe it's volume? I don't know. So I've been kind of been playing around with yeah. that. But and, what's uh, interesting, you, was that the first time you played through and seen going from one to the other, or have no, you done that before? I did it before, back okay. when we were working on 5th edition. Ah, yeah, that was a so, way of, of researching back in, exactly. and, yeah. We actually, uh, there's a team, I think each designer took a different edition. I may I may have been the one who ran original D&D. Yeah. I have an adventure I wrote for it, so I think yeah. that, that may have been. I know Rich Baker ran third edition. Yeah. Because edition. that was one of the design requirements, was to sign, kind of go back and, and revisit and what was good or bad about various editions. Exactly. Yeah. When you have a business that is struggling, I think it's two paths you can take. Yeah. You can either say, our product has an issue, or the audience we're trying to sell to is the wrong audience. Yeah. And so the idea was, well, let, let's let's look at the product first. Is there something? So let's yeah, go you back. still wanted to yeah. sell it to the indie gamers. Yes, yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. TTRPG players yeah. who, like, back in 2010, mm -hmm. yeah. they didn't yeah. seem like there are many of them left. Yeah. <laughs> but the idea was, well, some, at, other, at times this game has sold really well. So, yeah. like, what can we do to look at the product line? Mm -hmm. And, you know, the fun thing about that, looking back, was, like, we didn't go into it thinking we would solve it. Like, it was possible we would play and go, oh, like, the older game is just not product you know it's not something that really works yeah you know and so by playing it you know saying hey, hey dm this make it fun yeah and what do you think of it you know and really finding no the, the, the stuff that made rpgs really fun was pretty consistent across the board and so that was really interesting and that's i kind of felt like yeah i felt like every session was a ton of fun yeah it was just a different kind of mm -hmm. fun yeah, yeah. Classic thing, right? Fourth edition was very much like the fun was of like, oh, can I reach? I'm gonna get seven squares. Yeah, you got to just skirmish yeah, land okay, more how than can the I other editions. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, people, you know, using their power. Oh, we yeah. set the powers up this way. Yeah, and we I got that thing. sense of right fourth edition was a great right game, right but yeah, it might not go. have been D and D enough, so to speak, for the same audience. Yeah, in that sense. And I think the way I saw that is it's more when we think of D and D as meaning T tier edition. Yeah, you know, where if it had been more focused on. All oh, right, you know, yeah. tactics, right? Mm -hmm. Like exactly, it was, tactics. might have been too skirmishy for for a, a, a large chunk of the D and D yeah. audience. People were there for story yeah. yeah. There we go. Yeah. There we go. How's it going? Howdy, it's going well. My name's Andy. I'm Mike. Oh, pleasure to officially meet you. Okay. Andy, oh, Mike, hey, you guys, yeah, 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 awesome. <laughs> All right, hey, awesome. awesome. Yeah. Pleasure to yeah. officially meet you. Yeah, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Let's also Kurt. Everyone knows. Hi, Kurt. How you doing? Hi, Broken Brain Games. Well, also where you stream. Come well, on. I mean, yeah. yes, I mean, I do stream on the internet and everything with Broken Brain Games, Public Game, yeah. part of the Greyhawk stuff, yes. doing all that stuff. And hi, everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Justin Mast. I'm uh, more of just an adventure league uh, dungeon master, and I'm just friends with Kurt, and sometimes I'm yes. on streams okay. with him. So we threw, yeah. we threw everyone yeah. in. So, because uh, this is just a, a, a when, we do, when we do these at GaryCon every year, it's just a jam and chat session here. Everyone is going nuts, Mike, on chat. Gary Hoolian, everyone, all of them. Yeah, they're the like, oh my God. Yep. And, and uh, you know, if you don't know what yeah, happened, can, Mike can, was one of the ones that got let go. Watch chat and watch it. And yeah, every year, bring that up. Well, I, I, look, yeah. it, 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 it's in the past, right? So every year, Mike would come here and I'd say, Mike, man, what's going to take you to you know, get you on a show here? I got, I got to talk to my legal. Right? Every year. <laughs> so it's like, you don't have to talk about your legal now, right? So 
I just, I, answer, I just have to answer my wife. She, yes, we were joking, just to the wife. She's now this my CFO. Yes, but we're, <laughs> so we're, like, we're definitely the money. Yeah, yeah, we're cool. definitely going to have you in the yeah. BattleTech game He's now too, which I'm excited about. Everything. And Jimmy yeah. plays in the BattleTech game too. So yeah, yeah once the Blue Moon, we stream on a Saturday morning. And, yeah. uh, you know, we're gonna have some fun. So we're just we're just chatting around, and Mike's telling us some uh, really cool things about. And this is the tournament. This is the big high roller this tournament, high right? Roller. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah so yeah. Uh, it was like a couple grand to get in. Uh, to, to, yeah, it was like. Really? How many were there? Twenty something people? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I didn't, yeah. Yeah. I'm happy I didn't know that because I'm DMing. He'd be like, hey, this person's <laughs> character, knowing how much like, so, so it's like it's like being a blackjack dealer, but like this person is like just want to have fun. Like, can you take their money? Or you're like, oh no yeah. no no, that was uh, I got a oh I got another like dude. So, <laughs> so um, Mike, um, how the style? I, I heard you. you uh, which of the honestly, flat out, which edition did you like when you played? Because you played every edition today, right? Right, so I played three. I played every edition of the past two days. No, and it's so I don't want to be the guy who's like, well, every edition is the best because they're like your children. But you know, for me, honestly, so much of it is just because I grew up with it. Like mm -hmm. I still, I like the ideal of what Beckme represents, right? Nice. Where it's like, oh, yep. I can just like roll three to six in order, and I have a character, and then we just play, and it's really collaborative. But the thing is, like a lot of things. It's really about what the attitude is you're bringing to the table. So I'm not, I'm going to cop out and not pick an edition. I'm going to say, really, it is a type of game. I know people who, like, who wants to sell these things. Like, someone, oh, I may want to purchase my game. Oh, why should I buy your game? Well, really, it's the people you play with that determine if you're fine. So I got to tell you my game is the really super important thing. It really is, like, you're the people you're with. But I think that's a lot of it is the game system to me comes second to say, hey, who am I playing with? Right, What right. are we looking true, for? True. So for me, fourth, you know, fourth edition is great if you're like, we want to have a tactical combat, like we really want to focus on the mechanics. And then I like games like Beckme. It's like, you know, we're all kind of laid back. It's just cooperative storytelling. We kind of don't want rules. We just kind of want to know if I throw my axe at the troll, like, did it hit it or not? I don't want you just deciding that. Uh, and I think fifth, I mean, one of the things I think that we that worked with fifth was it hits that middle spot between it's enough yeah. that, oh, I want some rules, but I also kind of want some freeform. Mm -hmm. So I think to me it's like it's it's like asking me like what's my favorite tool? It's well my favorite tool, you know, socket wrench, Phillips head screwdriver hammer. Well, what am I supposed to be doing here? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So I really yeah. do think that's kind of a lot of it. The uh, oh. you know, I don't think that's just like I don't want to pick a favorite. Hey, because I don't work at Wizards anymore, I can just pick a favorite. That's it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, I don't have anyone saying yeah. no yeah. what? You can't say part of it if you don't like so before we uh, we, we go to our, our adventurous friends here and uh, like we guys we were streaming our, like five years, right? It's been yeah, you know, it's been a long time. Yeah, pre COVID. Right? Yeah. Seven years, seven yeah. years. Wow. Yeah. So uh, I want to ask this. So out of Holmes, Beckney, or BX, right? Because they're all the three different ones. You got the Mold Bay, you got Menser, and you got, you know, standard um, uh, Menser, Mold Bay, oh my God, Holmes. Which which yeah. is your favorite of the three, basically? Uh, I start with Holmes, but I have always have a soft, soft spot for Mold Bay because I do also, I tend to prefer lower level campaigns. So just having the basic rule book and the expert rule book as your all in one package. Right. And those adventures like Isle of Dread, uh, Lost City, like okay. those are the ones that I like were my formative, like, oh, these are my first adventures I played. So, yeah, I think that's, if I had to pick one, if it's like, okay, you gotta pick one version of DD, it's the DD you're gonna run for the rest of your life, uh, I'd pick the two Tom Mulvey edited uh, box sets. Excellent. That would be my list. By the way, this little uh, gentleman's gonna be lurking above and he's always scheming something. So, Josh Pop, everyone is running the show here at, at you know, running. There's a few other. Uh, yeah, I know, but you're like the lead, you're the leader, so. No, I'm trying to divest and try and become just do one job right instead of many jobs poorly. Don't become a volunteer for him, please. Oh, yes, dude. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's good to see you, Josh. Hang out as much. Everyone can hang out as much as they want here. We're going to be talking as long because there's nothing going on afterwards, correct? Duff, we got no other? Okay, there's no other. Uh, I just want to make we're sure. Back. We're live on Gary Khan Live, and we're live on... <laughs> Lord Gazumba. So, all right, gents, tell us a little bit about what's going on with Avantress here. Um, you guys, like, took a year and a half off, right, around for COVID? Was that it? Yeah. Uh, it was a while. Yeah. Yeah, yeah please. Uh, talk about, like, pre-COVID and what's going on and all the wonderful things going on right now. Yeah, I mean, I think, so we started in 2017. Uh, and so we started the streaming D&D. Uh, &D, and we basically had no audience for five years. Uh, we just basically streamed to like, you know, zero to 20 people. Uh, and we were happy and we had a very small but passionate community. And then we discovered short form content uh, in 2022 and uh, built an amazing, you know, uh, community very rapidly. Uh, and uh, we 
but before we discovered short form content, you know, we uh, COVID happened, and I know that like the D and D streaming space took off during COVID. Right. And I think the number of when we started by 2021, the number of D and D Twitch channels had quadrupled. Yep. It's yeah. now down to triple of what it was. Yeah, but it had, in the in the height of COVID, it was down was quadrupled. And but for us, we're an in person table. We try to do virtual D and D for four sessions. And it, was, it wasn't. Did, for us. It didn't work. It didn't. For, it didn't so work. we were one of the rare channels that took off during that time. Instead yeah, of, I, I, I noticed yeah. that. I, yeah. you know, I, um, yeah. we've all adapted a little bit. I had all my guys remoting in. Yeah, and that's how my te- uh, my special games with all my special guests at Greenwood and Luke and everyone yeah. worked because I said, like, oh, I can do this with with special guests now. But uh, you know, there's nothing like better than playing in person, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so you know, it's yeah. one of those things. Like you know, we yeah. love to kind of hop on and, and do the vir- occasional virtual game, but for like Avantress, for our games, for our core stories we wanted to kind of keep that at right. the table energy uh and then you know in 2022 we kind of you know started short form content and we've been super grateful that people resonated it and you know the crooked moon and awesome the rest is history really yeah that's fantastic and you guys had a huge kickstarter you got a whole bunch of great writers now yeah. what's the date the content will be hitting uh out that everyone will will have access uh first time uh first time things will be sent out uh, yeah so uh you know our initial uh target date was uh, september of this year we're trying to we're basically kind of making sure that before we if there's any kind of change that we discuss internally and we can be like darn certain okay uh of what it is and so uh we're trying to get it out as quickly as possible good for sure okay very cool very cool do you have any uh, questions from mike if you know the, the legendary Anna Meyer, the yeah. map maker, well, we, yes. myself, please, yeah. This is like this is just a ra- Kurt and and just anyone. This is just a we're just here to just BS and have a roundtable whenever you gotta leave. It's cool, and we'll be we'll just be uh, streaming here and just so, having fun chatting. Do you, you do games, live games do. and stuff? Do you do like talk shows and discuss like that too, or is it just running so, games and stuff? Or what's the yeah? We definitely started with the whole actual play live yeah. stuff. Yeah. Uh, for a brief period of time, we did try to do an extra Monday night stream that was a talk show style yeah. thing, and mm-hmm. we had fun with it for the summer, yeah. and uh, we had a very passionate, much smaller fan base that mm-hmm. loved the talk mm-hmm. show style yeah. thing, yeah. Uh, but we decided to uh, put that on hiatus for well, a sure. bit. Well, sure, yeah, you can't do everything. Yeah, yeah. And, and it was weekly, it was a weekly talk show, yeah. and uh, I think it, I think we had fun with it while it was a thing, and, and it might come back, we're not we're not sure where we're doing yeah. with that, but we, we tried to do a couple of different styles of, of content, and talk show was definitely one yeah. of them. Yeah. And I think that, that it was also, we ran into the issue of Ian for a talk show, like having it being, we, that was the one where we did remote, basically to make it work with our schedules, and it just didn't have the same kind of snappy energy. No. And, uh, yeah, you, yeah the, one audience might not like the other person. Right. Oh, yeah. So yeah, yeah, exactly. We try to give everybody a little something. Yes. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and yeah. It, it, and I think it had mixed success. Well, yeah, and I think that's one of the things of like that's definitely like the bottom of the funnel of like the pa- super passionate audience, right? Of where the top, it's like the haha cloud on the funny shorts, and then you get down to watching our, our, our comedy campaigns, and then you get down to watching the more serious stuff, and then just all of the general talk show kind of just being interested in like who we are as people as like the bottom of the funnel. Mm-hmm. So. Tempest OC just said watching all plays incredible. Well, oh, very thank kind. you, Tempo. So yeah. Really appreciate. Oh, that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm it's, just it's looking cool. out ahead. I, there's it's nothing there. All, it's We're a used wall. to looking at cameras yeah. across yeah. from the. It's a brand new setup. <laughs> yeah. yeah, brand new setup. So, um, we also got something from Mike uh, Less, and I'd like you to discuss this. Uh, not a question, but thanks to Mike for his design and rule suggestion on your Patreon. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes. So I guess I should be like pushing the page. Oh, you Patreon? should. Because yeah. I'm a patron of Mike's, and it's a great Patreon. Thank you. I must say that yet. I have one question with your Patreon. Meaning, you designed the rules back like ten years ago. You worked on. Now you go back and analyze it and start looking at it. How is Let, the? Link it, please. Do, how do you do? You come about meaning now you revise and look at your 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 work that you were part of, like long ago, so to speak, and you look at it again. It, it's I love really love that appeal because you have, everyone, you have so much intricate knowledge to begin with, and then a lot of experience on top of it and prior design experience, and then you go in and, and you tell it in small little snippets, so to speak, that comes like once or twice a week or something like that. It's, it's great, I love it, so yeah. Yeah, it's been fun. So the um, what's been interesting about it is uh, I ran a lot of games during COVID, yeah. and kind of the same thing, like I, I don't really like playing remotely, but I was able to adapt to it by running one hour games. Yeah. Oh, and wow. what I found was, yeah, there was a lot of kind of hacks I had to do with the system, yeah. and that was what's been kind of fun 
is now for a five E was a huge team effort, right? So I, I can't. Well, well, yeah. say, oh, I but you this, played right? your part in it. Yeah, so exactly, yeah. right. And but looking back, and it's like, well, when we made it, it was like, oh, here's what we're trying to do. We're trying to like, you know, bring everyone kind of back into the fold. Yeah. And then after going through COVID, it was more like, oh, how can I make this game? so I can run my games in an hour, and they're still satisfying, we're kind of getting through stuff. Yeah. And a lot of the things, like I wrote a lot about uh, DCs, how to set mm-hmm. DCs, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. you know, like, oh, they're kind of too yeah. high by default, here's the math behind it. And a lot of it was because what I found was, I was just kind of pulling out pieces of the system, yeah. because I felt like, you know. And you didn't become granular, you yeah, look like, like trying to get like, difficulty like, classes, how do you it, yeah, approach exactly. that part and stuff. That's, and and yeah. things That's like mixed success, like you mm-hmm. see in games like Apocalypse World, you know, yeah. these games yeah. where it's like, oh, I'm not just like, you know, when you're running in an hour, it's like, I never want to take time to roll the die and do some math and then have nothing happen. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. for instance, you know, I was like running a dungeon. It mm-hmm. may have been, um, uh, I think which one it was. Anyway. Uh, and I was like, okay, what yeah. I'll do is whenever the players fail a roll to like search, I'm gonna like increase this the danger and the likelihood of a wandering monster showing up. So it was never like, oh, we we roll, we try to find a secret door, and I know there's a secret door there. It wasn't you fail. It's like, oh, you're searching, and then you turn around, and then the secret door opens, and there's like three knolls there. Yeah. Oh, so you made found it, like you know, yeah. classic indie style play where it's yeah. like, oh, success with the consequences. Now you're getting ambushed. You know, right. things like that. Yeah. So trying to start thinking about that. Is there some more of these narrative tools you can bring to a 5e framework? And yeah, and so for me, it's just like I kind of have this tension in the design of like. Yeah. You know, I talked earlier, like, I like, you know, basic D&D, but I like putting cool stuff on the character sheet where it's like, oh, I'm a knight, and I get this cool thing no one else gets. Like, you know, how do you find that yeah. balance point? And I think a lot of it is just doing it a bunch and seeing yeah. and playing it, and does it work? And kind of going from there. So that's yeah. kind of... So right now at the paid level, uh, I'm showing off uh, some very early snippets of a game I'm working on. And at the free level, I haven't had time just because I've been busy. I've been, do- I've been doing some contract work with the... Um, doing some more general system analysis and like you know yeah. kind of that aim of like hey how can we speed things up and make it more i think like protein rich play where it's yeah. like oh every time we're doing stuff like it's the rules are as fun as like i mean you guys you know they, they, when you're interacting the table the energy between you like right. that's really fun you know yeah. oh, can we make the rules help support that more so within the framework of like you know the the, the 5e mm-hmm. system yeah so. yep so like, uh, your patreon is 500 people already i know it's well yeah. and i started it by accident <laughs> oh, my accident. Yes. So wow. I was working. I was like, okay, I should get this set up, but I'm not sure what I want to do with it. And so, like, I set it up, and I turn it all on just to, like, figure out, like, okay, here's how it works. Okay, got it. It's turned up. But, it, like, who's going to come across this random page? Nobody, right? I was, like, number 12, I think, on yeah. the list that did it. And I was like, oh, it's cool. So, Mike Merles is a patron. He suggested it. And I'm your, I'm oh, oh, okay. Pledge. So I figured there's probably an algorithm yes. thing. But, yeah. like, how would yeah. know? And then the yep. I went over to Facebook, and I had this ancient, like, Mike Merles game page or something mm-hmm. like that from like 20 years ago or something whatever how old facebook is and i uh, i had a wizards of the coast like logo or piece of art they owned and i'm like i mean i got a lot of friends who still work there but yeah. i don't want to have like mike merle's games and then it's like the wizards logo or something or it was like a piece so of art or really something so yeah. it's like i should just pull this photo off and just put up a picture of me mm-hmm. and apparently it Facebook pushed an update to everyone who liked the page. Said, yep. "Hey, yeah. this it guy was, changed uh, his yeah. photo from like mm-hmm. old D and D logo yep. to his face." Yep. And then I had the Patreon like somewhere in there. I had put a link, and someone actually saw it. And then a yep. couple people subscribed. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I need to yeah. start. And they pay. I, That's I what blew my mind. I got pushed yeah. because yeah. I'm so, on Patreon, and, and Patreon just suggested it to me. And yeah. like, oh, that's cool. So, so I just no, thank you. I appreciate it. that. Yeah. yeah. So then I was like, okay, I got to start yeah. running stuff because people are actually giving me yeah. money. I don't want to be like yeah, thanks yeah, the money yeah. and just walk off. And to me, it was perfect timing because I'm working reworking my house rule system that what okay. tweaks I wanted to do for running my games to get some other professional perspective or someone who is a professional game designer I mean the rules is not my forte but I love to tinker for, for my use so to speak not for publishing it mm-hmm. and then to have someone who, who, who presents something granularly and, and kind of tell you all the bits and pieces how they interact that was exactly what I needed at the time oh, thank so you. it's really, perfect thank yeah. you. so it, it fills a need for me so oh, it's perfect you. yeah Cool. Well, I, I yeah. make sure I keep like. Uh, keep oh yeah, but it, it's perfect. So keep analyzing things, come with suggestions, and also the consequences. Meaning, if you design the rule this way, this probably happens. That type of discussion really good because often I come up, oh, this is a really cool rule, and I do, without thinking of the consequences until my players yell at me six months later that it doesn't work. 
but you could probably, you saw that when I read, you can see, you already could figure that out from, from the, how the rules work. So. Well, to, to be fair to one thing to keep in mind is that is also based on a lot of play I've done. It, yeah, exactly. Because there is, but that's the one biggest thing I give. You aspect of yeah. gaming much more, like I look at maps and how can that be done and how you visualize from yeah. a story to, to terrain, so to speak. I overthink that part. And the rules is kind of a necessary evil at best, so yeah. So we only got quite a limited amount of time because Brett's oh, working yeah. Tower of Gygax yeah, right here. Oh, nice. right? Yeah. Brett's Hi, buddy. Hey, Brett. So, Tower of Gygax is going fantastically. I have to say, if anybody sees Ed pass along, that he has the highest kill count so far. That's where you would. You only killed one person, right, Anna? Yeah, I only killed one. I only got okay. two. Yeah, it's same as uh, Skip. Yeah, um, yeah, and I got a chance to actually sit down and play myself with Errol, which was amazing. Ooh. So that was really that yeah. was really awesome. But what a fantastic exercise it's been. It's yes. been just awesome. And the players have been super enthusiastic. Mm -hmm. And it's really fun to catch the people in the hallway that are walking by wondering, what is that? Yeah. And I just grab them in the hallway and I'm like, so this is what you do. Go give them terrible, unsolicited advice yeah. Yeah. and yeah. see if you can get them killed. Because yep. if that happens, mm -hmm. you get to sit down that's in their chair. Yeah. And so far, that's that's got a, quite a few people hanging around like uh, like vultures just waiting. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's amazing. So, yeah. And to me, I, I ran it for two hours yesterday and that was the most... I would say enthusiastic game player crowd I ever had. Wow. Whatever I did, they just like, ah, oh, yes, it's so much fun. And I, yeah. I felt it was kind of from a bad to mediocre performance as a DM, but they all sucked up and felt uh, it was fantastic. awesome. So it was, yeah. You were dealing with players creative enough to shove a table down the stairs oh, and, yes. and, 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 <laughs> and enlarge and cast it twice. enlarge on it twice. Yeah, to, to Not stop. once, <laughs> but to really. Stick oh, a yeah. troll, yeah, to oh, yeah. keep the troll stuck at the bottom of the stairs. Wow. They shove wow. a table down and then enlarge it so it will kind of jam. And when the troll was trying to get dislodge itself and get out, they cast a web, enlarged yeah. the table even more through oil, and oh, started geez. to burn it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 So that say, was a lot of fun. It was only it. bad when they lit it on fire. It. You know, yeah. Yeah. you're inside a tower, that's yeah. a finite yeah. environment. Yeah. 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 Wow. yeah, ventilation's maybe not the best. No, it was not the best. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then I just yeah. upped this. Yeah. Yeah. So then when there was enough smoke and stuff, I had someone coming in and cast a cloud kill spell to We're gabbing, man. And then that got one. Speak speak of the devil, the devil, and there he shows. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the legend himself. So, um, other than that, what else you? What else you? What else you? I might be in this. <laughs> <laughs> Erebus is still alive. Yes, but yeah. I did cut your ear off. You did cut my cut ear off. off. I'm missing an ear. That's all right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Everybody yeah. digs scars. Yeah. Yes, yeah. chicks dig scars. And I've got the, the I've got the ear in my in, in my pocket, so. It's okay. I'll, I'll get it put back Good on later. Resurrections. <laughs> so, what do you think of the two days so far? It's been fantastic, well, honestly. Yeah. The the uh, the best was coming through that doorway, and and I believe that was Erebus's <laughs> idea. Let's just go. Let's just get <laughs> yeah. in there, right? And we go through the doorway, and he just kept pulling miniatures out of the box, and kept pulling more miniatures out of the box. That's the way it is, Tarzan. Until there was it's in reverse. Forty. 40 plus wow. things laying at around? Least, wow. At least 40. At least, at yeah, least 40. It was that just, was insane. Which was crazy was me being a miniature and terrain DM, having to bring all that for that game. Because yeah. normally, that's the thing about running old school adventures. It is tough to put them on a tabletop at a convention or stream them because they're meant to be, here's your sheet, here's your graph paper, right? And that's it. I'm mapping them out. Not played that style. So I was like... When Luke said, hey, can you play a classic adventure for three days? And I picked Thousand, I'm like, my gosh, this is crazy how many. Like, literally, I brought, I think, 80 miniatures just for this, for that for that game. Yeah. So anyway, we're through two days, and uh, it's it's a, such a great classic. And uh, 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 our good friend Todd Stashwick played today. His character, Morton Didiff, mm -hmm. um, who's in my campaign. He's the cousin of Smelf, the son of Melf. Okay. <laughs> Because, yes, yeah, so that played by Luke Gygax, because yeah. we don't want to have any issues. You know, his real name's Eliator, but they call him Smelf as a joke, because yeah. we know Melf mm -hmm. is male elf, uh, where the name comes from. So, um, yeah, so it's a, it's a tight, nice community and, uh, there. And uh, where's uh, where's your other half here, man? Oh, but he's Eb, Eb here at, on, uh, on on Twitch, so yep. Yep. I, have to, I have to put my arm around him. He's a Tier 3 sub. Yes. So, yeah. Nice. <laughs> so, um, and, Curtis, is, yeah, Curtis is still wrapping up his game. Um, he's just finishing up the uh, Willow Blight Abbey. 
So if you see that one pop up anytime you know, soon, right there. jump in that game. I'll That's stay, a good I'll one. I'll stay standing. That's a good one. So, yeah, Willow Blight Abbey, he's finishing that up. Last I saw, they were on the final encounter, and I'm not giving anything away, so I'm going to say anything about it. But it looks like it's going really, really well. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. So, um, and then we have yet another special guest showing up at 7 o'clock that I can't talk about. Oh. That's been my favorite part, right, about this whole running Tower of Gygax. That is, is awesome. Nobody knows who the special guests are. I've had one person today hit me up every time you saw me. Hey, who's uh, running at 7? I can't tell you. Oh, that's amazing. That's who's really running cool. at 7? Can't tell you. Not gonna do it. <laughs> Keep trying, but it's not going to work. So. Who's running tomorrow? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah sure. I can't tell you. Who's going in tomorrow? Uh, Got to leave you hanging. Got to leave you hanging. <laughs> you have to go there and see it. That's right. That's right. Well, Brett, thanks, man. Really Absolutely. appreciate it. No, thank yeah. you. You know, I know you, I know you got a lot going on, and uh, volunteering for Josh is not easy. So I oh, that's busting Josh's yeah, stones all the yeah. time. Please do. Yeah. Keep Always. Them Always. Keep them all right, I try. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. 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 All right. Good See you guys. We're going to get back yeah. at it. Have fun. Yeah. Mr. Oh, yeah. Greenwood, is, Ed is eating over there, so we'll get it on shortly. So yeah. you two have been very quiet. So yes. uh, yeah. I kept it to Kurt. Uh, <clears throat> Kurt, why don't you tell us a little bit about what's going on? I want to say this. I think the Mork board game that you did on Darling's channel was awesome, right? It was horrific. So, on yes. Levels, yes. yes. On yes. levels you can't yeah. imagine. Yes. So let's Those, talk a little bit. The entire game can be summed up with two words, toe-sucking. And we're just going to leave yeah. it at <laughs> Toe-sucking. Yeah. Um, uh, no. Um, you guys want anything, man? Uh, um, Thank you. Okay. Thank you. It's open. Absolutely. Beer, you know, oh, there's wow. anything. Yeah. yeah, the club's awesome here. Um, uh, no, uh, that's uh, kind of what I do. It's my main focus on uh, games and stuff that I run. It's horror-focused games, and um, uh, our company, uh, Broken Brain Games, we released uh, Mork, uh, Mork Borg uh, Mort. We called it Ragnaborg, oh, which yeah. is a yes. Viking yeah. take on it, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Um, you guys, I'm pretty sure, saw Erica at Game Yes. 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 Yep. That would be the other half of the company. Nice. Um, uh, uh, awesome. But yeah, no. So uh, the Mort Borg stuff and all that, that gritty, immense, like, wow, we turned a corner. You could die. Great. Awesome. You know, like, is just, it's fun. And it's that level of just being able to just play and not care. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I can, you can have a game together in like three minutes because you just yeah. pull it out and roll a handful of tables and you're good to go. Yeah. yeah. You know, however, I have a very, specific question for you guys yeah, go sure. for it man right? please yes what was it that made you decide to jump into the short short format mm. right yeah i mean it was it was where we had never really done marketing and it's one of those yeah. things where i was a marketing professional for 10 years before doing this full time yeah. and i just didn't make the connection of oh marketing's for my day job we yeah. should just be able to stream and people just should be able to show up and we always thought that we had really funny moments really great like awesome stuff but yeah. we just never did an ounce of marketing right. so we said well why don't we just chop up the stuff and like we're pretty funny right like oh, i feel yeah. like we're, we're you know i would like to think that like you know we have some pretty funny moments so let's just package it in a way where an algorithm uh That's can awesome. can help deliver it and basically that was we just figured hey let's give it a shot yeah and it ended yeah that was it that yeah. was it and so we kind of figured out like applying the like uh Figure out how to beat the algorithm too. Trial and error. Not just like oh, knowing wow. the funny moments, but also thinking of like the first three seconds, focusing on like the five things that people care about in shorts, yeah. focusing on like the the things that tightening tightening it up as much as possible without losing all of the context and walking that fine line of it being boring and also not having enough context is very fun. So it's yeah. kind of like the the tweaking aspect. It's a puzzle. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a good way to put it. Yeah. I'm just saying, you guys' TikToks are the ones that come across my phone the most. So. Thank you. Thank you yeah. for watching. Yeah. Thank you for, yeah, yeah, thank you for helping the algorithm. <laughs> yeah, it's really... It's... Are you doing it on YouTube as well, or is it mostly oh, yeah. TikTok? Both? Oh, YouTube yeah, YouTube, TikTok? Uh, YouTube. Our YouTube is actually almost, or like today, is going to finally surpass our TikTok, which okay. I've been trying to do for a, yeah, I've been trying to do for a very long time. So, yeah, we're everywhere, you know. So, Good. that's what we always say, is that, like, we actually went to Gamma and met, like, had some meetings with people. And they were saying, like, oh, my God, I get your ads everywhere. I get your TikToks yeah. everywhere. It's like, oh, yeah. Like, they were, like, frustrated by it. I'm like, I'm doing a good job. Yeah. 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 If you're sick of me, if you're sick of us, yeah. then I'm doing a good job. I've got a question for the whole table. Please. Uh, yes, let's do it. Guy. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. like, we're, yeah. we're newbies here, yes. obviously. And uh, even though it's only been, like, two days, we've been absolutely loving every second of it. So my question for everybody is, yeah. is there a yearly recurring event that you guys look forward to every year or is there just something that's mm. new this year oh. that you're looking forward to doing next weekend yeah. that's a good can, I, can I go uh, ahead and, uh, yeah please go for it man yeah, yeah. You all right so as an adventure league dm yep 
We do a thing every year called We Are Grow. Okay. Which is, there is about, this year, there's 38 tables. Okay. Full wow. of uh, absolute uh, drunken, debauchery-filled people <laughs> yeah. that it is, we all play grung, you know, the uh -huh. frog people. Yep. Yeah. And we have this crazy adventure done by... Um, our, uh, our friend Thomas, he writes up the adventures every year, he brings it to us, and uh, everybody plays uh, specialized grung characters, and we go through this uh, amazing adventure where people, people get killed easily, there's roaming NPCs, there's uh, screaming, dancing, singing, partying, and it is just a crazy wild time. And so, so we enjoy doing that every year. So if this is... Uh, yeah, this is like my third year here at Gary Con. I've done, and he's enlisted me to do it. He's enlisted me to do it every year, and is always a highlight. Uh, what day is that? It is Saturday night. Saturday night. Okay. Saturday night. It is already sold out there, yeah, but yeah. get in the get in the wait line okay. and get in because if there's an open slot, you want to be in that because it is so much fun. Slots open up. I'm going to give yeah. you an example. This morning, I'm there prepping up, and Rob Phantom and Jay comes in. Like, hey, Rob, you, you hanging out today? He's like, oh, no, uh, someone dropped your game. I'm getting it. I, I signed up immediately. Mm, yeah. Uh, this morning. And I'm like, what? And so it appears that someone who was in the next two days couldn't make it. Um, and so he got in, and then the guy who was in day one, uh, another Scott. You know, we had like four Scots in the, on the table. It was confusing. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, so all first name Scots except for me. Uh, and, and then, uh, so he got in back into day three. And I was like, wow. So things can open up at any time. Yeah. Any minute. Any time. You, don't have, you don't have to shush. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good guy. That's Inquisitor06 on Twitch, by the way, there. So there we go. Yeah, so just note that. You can get into a game when you don't think you're going to be able to get into a Absolutely. game. Absolutely. You know, so you just got to be right place, right time. Yeah, with it. tickets sold out for our events almost immediately. Yeah. But we had uh, a no-show, and no one from the waitlist showed up. So like, we had just had played with a smaller party. Like, someone easily could have gotten in. It, absolutely. Yeah. That happens all the time. Yeah. So always, and with your community, the great thing is there's always, like, we, we estimate our 60 people this year is going to be gonna be here. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right. So, like, the, like, Rob was right on top of it. He's like, boom. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. No, he was he was tapping the stand, and I'm going whap whap whap. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you can I'm always get it. Always have your community be heads up for that, and that was that's a good thing. So, how many years has Kurt for you? Three. Three. What yes. are you looking forward to? So uh, I am. I always wanted to go sit at the owl table. Oh yeah, that's old, great. Go sit at the owl table for an hour, old two hours. Great hawk there from, too. Uh, okay. You just show up. They'll slide you this massive binder and say, make a character. And then you make a character, and then you, and it's come and go as you please or okay. whatnot. Mm. So you sit there for as long as you can. These guys, like, they, no matter what's going on in the game, they will find a way to bring your character in. And when you're done, you're like, okay, cool, I've got to go do the next thing or whatever, right? Yeah. They will find a way for you to seamlessly wow. exit the game. Cool. And then you can literally just come back later if you have time. Sit down, and they will bring you right back in. That's awesome. Let you out again, right? Um, that one, and I do it every year. I pay attention to the flags. If you see one where they have an open seat, yeah, just sit down. Okay. Don't even know what the game is. Just sit down because you never know what it is you're going to start playing. That's right. That's Great. awesome. Yeah. How about you, Mike? So this has been. I, mean, I know this. Is, whatever. I'll throw this out there. This is something that I, I did one of the first times I came to GaryCon. I. Got, went down to downtown Lake Geneva and went over to, on Center Street where the Gygax family lived. Mm -hmm. And I walked from there to the Horticultural Hall okay. where they had the first Gen Con. Oh, and then I walked from wow. there, yeah, down, and then downtown to where the, the office used to be and um, yeah. uh, the, the, the old candy store, or okay. whatever, I think it was a candy store now. And it was just kind of cool to think like, you know, as creative people, like sometimes you feel overwhelmed or like, oh, do people actually care about what I'm making? And it was kind of cool to just see like how small Gary Gygax's awesome. world was, yeah. but he still like made something, you know, with TSR that like really, yeah. you know, like this is the hobby we all play in, right? So I just thought it was kind of cool to just like walk those steps yeah. and be like, this is like with someone's world, like someone just had to get up in this house every day, go to work and deal with stuff, and there was just this event hall like a block down from their house. Like, what if I ran a game convention there? And now yeah. it's like, you know, eighty thousand people show up. Like, yeah. so it just 
So it's just kind of cool to think like, yeah, like really humble beginnings. Like yeah. everything has a, hum a humble beginning, right? Like yeah. no one. I mean, you guys talked about like how long you streamed and yeah. so like you know and how you had to work at it yeah. and everything. And so it was kind of cool to do that and be kind of inspired. <laughs> That's like, a great suggestion, you know. So yeah. yeah, so I found it really kind of a cool way to like you know charge up my creative batteries. Yeah, we so. should go to the first Gen Con location. Yeah. yeah. Now it's too big for the city of Indianapolis. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 it's too to big for the city, which yeah. is crazy. And so the one thing we did, if you do go and if it looks like it's closed. I was there with a friend. We actually went and we just, for the heck of it, knocked on the door. Yeah. And there was someone in there, oh. a, I guess one of the women, like I guess, it's, I think it's like a non-profit or something like that. She happened to be in there and we mentioned, oh, we're like these D&D &D yeah. nerds. She's like, oh, well, come on in. Yeah. Right? Like, oh, that's awesome. so yeah. That's that's awesome. Like, so, yeah, so yeah. we actually got to see the interior and everything. So, cool. Yeah. So, so don't be afraid to knock if you're there and you're like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Noted. Awesome. Let's ask this gentleman what he's most looking forward sure. to. That's right. Paul. Ed Greenwood. Ed. Hi. Hey. <laughs> what am I most looking forward to? Yeah, well, to? first off, it's how the hell... question. Yes. So, yeah. First off, how the hell did you win that board game last night when you weren't even there at the end, right? When we were playing we were playing Keith Baker's board game, and Ed ended up winning. Uh, beat Todd and, uh, and Alyssa and myself. And that was fun, right? Because, <laughs> because all of you guys were fighting and competing yeah, yeah. for top value cards. And I just took the low value cards that nobody fought for and filled my hand with them. You did. You and did. then I went away to run Tower Gygax That's and somehow I won when I wasn't there. <laughs> That's, That's why you're Elminster. Yes. There you go. Yep. So what are you most looking forward to um, at Gary Con this, this year? I know what I know what I know what you I want you to answer. <laughs> I am I am most looking forward. To getting enough sleep. Yeah, I'm kidding. That's, 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 that's very politically. Yes. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Saturday. Instead of the alarm <laughs> clock going, get up, you lazy bastard, um, I will just get up. Yes. Because I will finally have had enough sleep. I made the mistake of driving down here around wow. Chicago rather than through it. <laughs> From Canada. Because... When I used to drive to TSR back, when it was at 201 Sheridan Springs Road, <laughs> my wife wanted to do the driving, and she would stop at a Long John Silver's and have hush puppies. <laughs> and they closed all the Long John Silver's no. in Canada. And she died three years ago, yeah, so I stopped at a Long John Silver's and I had a hush puppies. There you go, that's good. And on. then awesome. she would always gas up at and eat in this thing of when we turned at Nippersink and there was a white castle. The White Castle is now a sit-go gas station, so <laughs> I couldn't eat at the White Castle. But I followed the same rule. And the problem with that is it took me 14 hours. Oh, wow. And I'm yeah. still in driving position. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and my body returns to that rest yeah. position. And that was a mistake. Um, so I was looking forward to horseback riding here at the Grand Geneva and taking horses over some jumps to loosen the body, and <laughs> I can't find any horses. No. They've probably got them away for the winter. Some golf carts. I, I, uh, yeah, no, I don't feel it like taking golf courses. Over yeah. jumps. <laughs> but I remember my first Gen Con, Gen Con 8, and I walked into the Horticultural Hall, and it was sand tables, and the doors were propped open because it was so hot, because it's not air-conditioned or anything like that, and there were a bunch of fat old guys and really string beam thin guys. <laughs> Wearing T-shirts, uh, the, the thin guys had T-shirts. The fat guys all had shirts like this and a pocket protector. And it had pens and stuff in it. And they had slide rules. War games. And there was sand tables. And they were, oh, there was one ping pong table that was pressed <laughs> into service. And the rest were all sand tables. And they had, like, they were measuring with slide rules. And they, they borrowed some of the hangers. I'm sure that the ladies of the horticultural hall did not appreciate that. They bent the coat hangers into burst circles for our <laughs> And there were just as many women as men because everybody had a wife or a girlfriend who was there. So that early Gen Con was co-ed, 50-50. Wow. Yeah. But a lot more of the guys were playing and standing around talking and smoking because everybody was chain smoking because everybody could smoke. Yeah. And a lot more of the women were ducking outside and shopping Oh, I'll just bring, I'll bring you a coffee, dear. Shoo! <laughs> like Geneva to go shopping. Well, the yeah. guy was not seeing what they were buying because he was... Yeah. Different <laughs> so time. Yeah, yeah, it was different. And then Gen Con 9 was here. I missed it. Oh, really? I didn't realize it was here. No, more, no Playboy Club for me. <laughs> Wait, this was an old Playboy Club back in the day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah. heard yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then Gen Con 13 was Kenosha Parkside, oh. which I still think was the best venue for Gen Con and the best size. Imagine a futuristic 
1960s futuristic yeah. campus where they have all the buildings in a green park and they're all joined by bridges on three oh, levels, yeah. oh, like wow. a three level shopping mall, yeah. but it's all a university. And if you're outside in a car, you can drive underneath each building because they have all the contoured grass. Mm, but the yeah. nice thing is, the middle of anywhere in the car, you could just bang open these double doors and you'd be out in a park. Yeah. And you could lie there on the grass and play games and picnic wow. and everything. And then you just walk awesome. back in. It yeah. was yeah. perfect. Except for the night it rained. Because <laughs> we were staying in Jellystone Park, which was a private campground, which was um, the one lady who was with us said, I am never staying here again. Because <laughs> they had one shower. You put an American quarter oh in the wall, and you turned it, and it clockwork back and poured cold water over you, and you showered in full view of everybody in the camp because oh you were up on top of the hill. Everybody just parked their cars on the grass. There was a river going around it with a swamp on three sides, so the mosquitoes were like clouds. And we walked through Petrified Strings on um, County Park to get to the back of Kenosha Parkside, and it rained so hard on the Saturday night that we were waiting in this futuristic bus shelter and guys came running out of the back of the exhibit hall and they had a um, plywood and paper mache terrain held over their heads and the rain was so hard it broke oh, plywood oh, like this and it was raining so hard in the parking lot. The parking lot had a slight drain slope down to the river and all the cars were floating on oh, each other. No, no, oh, my goodness. oh God. Gen Con 13, I don't know. 74, 75? Something Later like that. that. Yeah, wow. way back then. Yeah, and I remember watching all these cars fetch up at the bottom. It's a good thing we didn't drive. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then we started walking home through the Petrified Springs. The polluted river had overrun the banks, and we were walking through it. And all the pit toilets and all the outhouses <laughs> had overrun their banks, and we were walking through it. <laughs> Ed is always good for a very descriptive story on these channels, yes. on my channel. Yeah. We've never had uh, a 30 day ban yet, so. Yeah, okay. You know, so well, I'll work no, on no, no, that. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go, Ed. <laughs> but I was among gamers. Yes. Because the next morning, we were wet to the skin, all our shoes had not dried out, and we were squelching our way. Along a road, we had a four and a half kilometer walk, mile walk, excuse me, to Parkside because we were not going to do Petrified Springs because the cops had stopped us the night before in the middle of the park saying, What are you doing here? The park's closed. And I said, We're walking back to our campsite, but you can't walk through here. I said, Oh, can I borrow your car? <laughs> yeah. Because I'm a Canadian and I did that. <laughs> and he said, you're not old enough to drive something. I said, it's never stopped any of us. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, no. <laughs> Which I was lucky, you know. So we were walking back along the roadside, and this guy pulled out of Jellystone Park, and he passed us, and he slowed down, and then he backed up and said, Are you guys going to Gen Con? And we said, yeah. He says, hop in. And I was like, yes. <laughs> and you guys still play and have fun. Yeah, it was great. It. Yeah. By the way, Ed, I got a plenty of bell money here. So, oh, good. We're we good. may need it. We're good. Uh, but we're no, good I'm, being good. I'm being good. I'm being good. I know. We're both. Uh, come on, Ed. We love you. Love you to death. So, uh. Really? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you were, hey, you were massaging my shoulders last night during the board game live. So You were tense. Yeah, I was tense. So, <laughs> um, I am. So, the question on, on, on Gary Khan, this is the best, out of, in my opinion, out of all the times. All. Opinion? I don't think so. Well, yeah, this is my fifth Gary Con, and and what I like about it, it's multi-dimensional in ways. Yeah, you alluded to or hint, told about the story that I think is wonderful. It's the place that D and D was born, so mm -hmm. to speak, yeah. and role playing games. So you have that ancient history, ancient by TTRPG terms, so to speak. It's not. It's the half a century, and and you have the location and the roots of the game. And you have the old old farts, and then people are not as old farts. I'm, I'm not the oldest fart here, but I'm, I'm getting there. So yeah, we're in that, we're yeah, in that we're category, that, yeah. that, that yeah. category <laughs> beneath the oldest farts that played it for, for almost <laughs> for like 40 years. And, and it's so cool to have <laughs> that. Have and then we yeah. have all the generations and people that come after, so to speak, and mm -hmm. come in the new generation who have gained like a decade or five years. And, 
and are burning for it and stuff. So you have all the aspects of the game in one convention, so to speak. And, and I really, really like that. Plus the fact that it's not bigger than you can actually go around and meet everybody. And it doesn't take a, a day to go around the whole convention. Big conventions like Gen Con has its, its wonders too. So I, I recommend everybody to go to them as well. But Gary Con gives kind of a, a unique flavor to, to as convention goes. Yeah. And to me, it's it's the, the big draw is to go and meet all the people. I Meaning I sit yes. at home yeah. working on, on yeah. making maps yeah. of places Absolutely. that don't exist, and my neighbors and no one understands why the heck anyone would do that, much less get paid to do it. And here I go, and everybody all of a sudden understands what I'm doing. That in itself is a price so aspect. There, yeah. there are great, like, everyone here, like, I mean, Ed, Ed's a nice guy. I mean, we all know that, right? Absolutely. I know, bromance. So, but there are, there are the legends that are here. You see Alan Hammack walking down the hall. Yes. You know, uh, you, for Gary Con, I'm assuming Jim Ward's coming. And, and no. Jim, no? No, oh, really? Sick. He's sick. Oh, my oh God. When Jim, well, yeah, last year, last two years, Jim was like the Pied Piper, right? <laughs> he's on that. No, seriously. Yeah, he's, he's on his car, yeah. and people are like following wherever he goes because <laughs> he's just, you know, yeah, Jim's just such a. Yeah. Dee Dee God's book, the original 1980, that's Jim Ward. Yeah, Graphic wow. Adventures book, that's Jim Ward. I mean, so uh, um, Tim Cast is coming, right, Duff? Tim, yeah, you know, all sorts yeah. of legends. And he'll have a cart, too. Yeah, we'll have, we'll have a ton of... We'll but they can't them. drag race if they're not... No. <laughs> <laughs> so what, you, what I suggest is if there's someone you don't know, uh, uh, ask a friend or say, hey, who's that? And then just introduce yourselves yeah. and just yeah. say, hey, you know, I, I play D&D, &D and, you know, I, I'm inspired by what you all did. They'll really appreciate it. Yeah. Because some of the, you know, that's awesome. like, yeah, definitely. definitely. Howard Johnson's here. Uh, you were Tomocon. That's yeah. you know, oh, terrible. You have seminars. Yeah. You can listen to yes. all the cool experiences. Yes. All yes. Aspects of the game, Absolutely. From the newest hot yeah. cool things to, to old tradition, what happened at TSR and, and, and all sorts of stuff. And, and it's Mike, amazing. it's okay whenever. Yeah. No, that's a great segue because yeah. I have a yeah. seminar. I have to go. Uh, yeah. Oh, bro. Oh, oh, so, oh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. 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 Yes, it was great meeting. Yes, great meeting. Yeah. Thank you so much. Mike. Next time you're in the candy store, yeah. we'll point out where the people's feet came through the plaster ceiling. <laughs> 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 well, thanks for anything. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Well, I will I'm going to steal his seat. That's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, what I will say is that everybody has been unbelievably kind to yeah. us. We've met yeah. so many amazing people, everybody at this table included, and uh, we just got done running the game. Uh, our other two. Uh, uh, of our gang is finishing up another game, so we're probably yeah. going to go check out. That's okay, man. That's okay. We just cool. want you to hop yeah. in but and say hello. No, we appreciate you having us. Yeah. Yeah. It's so awesome being able to share a table yeah. with you guys. Hey, Good yeah. meeting you. Yeah, we've got to meet all you. Guys. We're we're running. <laughs> we're, it's, we're running so many I'm games. Out still. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's it's only day two, and yeah. I know we've got another yeah. you know eight days ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very yeah. 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 So uh, well, I don't. We'll be around and just yeah. Thanks for having us on the show for a bit. Yeah, you know, just enjoy. You know, reach out to. Any time, if there's, yeah. you know, always yeah. something going on. That I made a mental note of all of these suggestions. Yeah, so yeah. We're gonna poke our heads absolutely. And yeah. Check it out. I, I will suggest one thing. I know it's sold out, but uh, but Ed, Anna, and I have the legendary maps of Greyhawk in the Realms seminar. Okay. And Ed's got maps from the '60s. We have great maps from the 60s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Before D&D yeah, yeah. existed. I was born in the 50s. I grew up in yeah. the 60s. Yes. Well, they're so, too young to enjoy it. Oh, oh, no. So, oh, I just got to watch. <laughs> Stuff Ed has done before yeah. D&D was around. Yeah. The concept... Yeah. And you know, we have some old Greyhawk yeah, maps too. Old, yeah, we really do. Really old, we do Greyhawk have some old Greyhawk maps too. Maps too yeah. that Probably one. that might be the oldest Greyhawk map still in existence. In existence, because yes. we can, the original Darlene yeah. is missing, right? Is that uh, correct? Well, or, we don't know about. Yeah. I don't know by the top of my head, but we have some. Oh, some the pre Darlene map we're talking. About. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 We have so, some of yeah. that stuff, and we have Fun the uh, Lens original uh, uh, Lendor Isle map, and two of them even. Yep. Well, well, if it's sold out, it'll work. If we get yeah. lucky, maybe there's some space and we'll be able to... We'll yeah. Be able to yeah, yeah, man, please. I know I'll Robert's, Robert's coming yes. to that, too. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, awesome. Thanks for everything. Okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll see you around. Yeah, yeah. Really great chatting. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, good. Thanks for doing this. Cool. Of course. Oh, hope you guys had fun with the chat oh, there. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Thank yeah. you so very much. Thanks, Chad. We'll see you soon. Okay. Bye. Kurt, how about if I have you slide over there? You slide down one there, so we got some room. Yeah. And let's have some... There you go. All right. Wow, yeah. I mean, like, 
So yes, you've done one. Let's, you've done one. Oh, let, let's, oh, let's, yeah, let's, yeah, let's. I gotta go. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. it's called visuals. Let's, let's be bluntly honest here. Mike came in just to get food, and then I said, Mike. Can you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta, it's okay. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, you know, he was ecstatic to come on here. Yeah. So, and he um, got to promote his. All right. Patriot. So introduce yourself. Lee is asking who you both are. So go ahead. Oh, uh, I am Kurt Vanettis. I am the creative director over at Broken Brain Games. We make Ragnarok, and then we make third-party products for Mortboard, uh, Shadow Dark, and DCC. Okay. And uh, I am Justin Mast. I am primarily just a, a, a guy who comes to these conventions and runs games for people that want uh, want enjoyment. I, I the way that I interpret what I do is I am putting on a one-man show for six to seven people in which I am uh, telling a story with collabority with people because my my improv uh, my background is improv uh, and I uh, yeah. operate within Second City and all that stuff so uh, that's what I like to do and I like five to share minutes. stories so that's yes. five that's my thing uh, two 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 minutes I live to serve awesome uh oh Please. That's never good <laughs> yep. That used to be a high school rite of passage in Toronto, yeah. the second city up there. Her, so, you the legend somebody himself. Oh, that, I'm sorry, that hurt. City. That hurt you? Oh, man. And they oh, had no. that stuff thrown Just at them. say no. But Just say no. I believe that. School courts are in here. Please yeah, introduce yeah, yourself. You we have a true legend here. Yikes. You come on. Let's hope that's tell not true. Tell everyone, true. tell everyone who you are and uh, and just what you you guys have been doing forever, like the longest. Really, yeah, group one of one yeah, of yes, Andrew Perry, uh, founder of the Guilds of War. We are the 1976 club that has been running straight campaigns since the 4th of July 1978. We have 300 members in 38 states and 14 countries. So, still running. We do about 1,700 hours of campaign a year in 15 campaigns. And uh, somewhere north of 80 What's tournament it? hours. Uh, <laughs> conversion of uh, Gary's Barrier Peaks that we yeah, turned into Beyond the Barrier Peaks. And we run seven sessions for 56 hours at GaryCon this year. Wow. And we yes. Just, and we just finished uh, Founders and Legends, the uh, uh, creative control for the Heroes campaign. And uh, the answers are done and the judging is done, but I can't report that. No, you can't. I'd have no. to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> And also, I appreciate the invites. It's just a com with conflicts. I really, uh, but the party Saturday night, thrill in the villa. Yeah, you are, we're uh, trying to get to well that. Met. Gonna definitely try fun. and get to that one. We have an interesting cast of characters who will materialize and cause mayhem. And we're gonna try and coordinate at one point so that uh, Andrew can actually DM for us live. I will. Yes. Give you the opportunity to have your evil cronies uh, stumble through the next part of the ship. Uh, the, the angels. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> now, how much would you pay? An answer. We <laughs> throw in the slicer, the dicer. <laughs> so, uh, just it's uh, um, every morning at this table we're at. The warp group sits here, and I'm usually sitting here prepping up for my game, and then they psh, all over the place, and they you know, have discussions what they're doing today. It's just amazing how many different things you, you're into, and how how just the, I don't know how you do it. I think I'm busy. 1,700 hours, that's like uh, three full-time jobs, right? I'm awake a lot. Yes. <laughs> I, own, I own a bunch of companies, and I yeah. also consult. So, I am a full-time writer now. So Fantastic. My second book is just about to be finished. Oh, that is awesome. Uh, where, uh, where can we find the first book, and what's the name of it? Uh, it is not published yet, because okay. I was told uh, all three have to be done before oh, okay. I can. Um, okay. And it's uh, based on the story my father told my sisters and I as children. And then after he passed away, I started telling my six children that story when they were little. And it's now been built into actually components behind what happens next. Wow. So this one was started in 2005 before Lit RPG was a thing. But I'm told by Lit RPG people that because there are hints to my uh, first character and my second character in Gary's Greyhawk campaign, that people will recognize some of the oldest underpinnings of Greyhawk. Wow. So what was see. the name of the guild again? You're in now. We are the we are the, we are the guilds of war, the World Association of Role Playing. So and there's sub chap and there's sub chapters. There are sub chapters of war. Right. W what it is is the guilds are based on all the locations that I lived at or worked at for extended durations, 
And so they each have a master who manages all the folks who are part of those sections. And so when you see our shirts, you'll see each of the guild's digital images, and those people will be able to tell you, are they part of Warp or SARP or HARP? Each one is different. And so it's based on the people who live in those different areas. And so there are 40 members of the club who will be attending here and 12 of the masters. And so we meet on Friday morning for our quarterly votes and all our details here. The masters meeting happens here on Friday at 7 a.m. And also, um, you guys have these great baseball jerseys, right? Indeed. Well, yeah, this is, uh, this is for That's your best. Uh, Founders and Legends. Yes. Uh, really cool. The 50th anniversary is Founders and Legends. Guy Gax on the back and yep. 50. Yeah, yep. they're really awesome. Yeah. We had a good time doing the Heroes Tournament for those uh, 40 people, and I think they had a good time. I'm hoping. And I appreciate the time. Thank you so very much. My privilege. Wish you all well. Good to see you all. Yeah. <laughs> nice to know that you guys are busy knocking it out. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Thank I you for the kind words. Privilege that uh, Greyhawks survived because of your efforts, and uh, uh, I am happy to hear from uh, Jim Ward that my first character, who was turned to stone when everyone was TPK'd in the summer of '76, is considered to be alive but Ooh, still frozen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, awesome. uh, as, as Greyhawk <laughs> may make us uh, surface. The pool room, Gary's infamous pool room in Castle Greyhawk. Yeah. Uh, I am still technically a possibility. You're still stuck. Wow. And that piece of uh, handwritten. Do you age when you your pool no. Room? My no, answer no. was I was told was by Jim and Kim and yeah. Tim was no. Okay, good. And so yeah. assuming that is true, yeah. yep. he has been asleep for around eighteen hundred and sixty-five days. Wow. Eighteen thousand six hundred and fifty days. Yeah. So we'll see. That is so yeah, awesome. Imagine machine. having that character. Yeah, that's badly. 40, Very badly. Very badly. 48 years or whatever it is? Yeah. Uh, wow. he, it's 48 years ago. Wow. And, and he's been a piece of paper from my third grade existence since yeah. then. <laughs> from that first summer. Wow. Third wow. grade. That is awesome. Thank you. Thank pleasure. you so very much. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Good to see you all. Good to see you again. Anna, always a pleasure. All right. Cheers, folks. Yep. yep. I don't mind roping people in. He's the le So An Sir Andrew's group is like a legend. When you say... You know, my campaign is 44 years old. I mean, my gosh. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, but, the, you know, there's a, there's, Barrier Peaks is huge with them. The sci-fi aspect of the game, because mm -hmm. Jim Ward is, was, is one of the honored DMs in their group, and Jim was Metamorphous Alpha, right? Mm -hmm. And Jim loves that. So, it's kind of a fusion in that. In that. So, I'm looking forward. Uh, that was Sir Andrew um, from Oku. He's, he runs Warp. So, uh, we're, we've been working and just... Our times have not coincided where he's going to DM on the channel. We're going to zoom him in for, and I get to, I have to handpick. I have to handpick like eight to ten people, and we're going to play on that entry level uh, uh, of their game uh, in the expedition. So yeah. it is now the right time to remind you that Len McCoskey did a one-shot beneath the Barrier Peaks at a Gen Con back in the Wisconsin Parkside really? area. Oh. Just a one shot. <clears throat> in those days. Do we know what scenario that was? Or do yeah. we have any? He wrote it. He yeah, wrote but it. The question is, is it exist? We don't, yeah, we yeah, don't have it. Yeah. Where can we find we it? Got it? Uh, can we find wow. it? Have you no, heard no. about its existence since? Uh, no, no, not since. Yeah? Um, in those wow. days, when you, in those days, you sent away, you, you registered, yeah. and you paid, mm -hmm. and they mailed you the catalog of events yeah. and then you wrote back and signed up for events none of which you got if it was Len or Gary or whatever yeah. right. but they always mention um, <clears throat> official demons and devils and so on from yeah. the game that you were going to go and fight so you always signed up for them and never got them yeah. and that was one of those so yeah. it, there was a and we never one heard paragraph of him no. publishing it in any shape or form. So no. Speak. Yep. And I looked through. So um, well, I, I'll take now. I know it. I'm going to take another yep. look at all yep. the lens stuff, and we'll see if yep. we can find we, something. We do have. And two. if we find something, I can promise you, we will dig into it and so try and publish we, it. We should yeah. have the Greyhawk Group community should have two more Len Lakofka adventures this year. Correct? Is there two more? Yes. So we had two I've last year. Them. And the, we're going to show them at our so Greyhawk yes, at our Greyhawk seminar yep. mm -hmm. coming up. So we're going to have the yeah. there he is. I got you. Yeah. And when we went over the uh, the lens stuff with with, um, with Bill uh, Meinhardt, 
uh, we found um, he could explain some of the there was Good. a bunch of uh, <laughs> that, that was actually the the, um, the when they were going to publish a module they Correct. sent out to to Len to for him to re, re, kind of go through it and and check it out that module was never published in that form okay. so we have a unique uh, thing because it was given a product number that never was never published right okay so so yeah. so we have that so so we're going to to go over that and see if we can publish it somehow yep so so it's coming yeah yep. everyone's saying hi Curtis because everyone knows how great of a yep. uh, uh, contributor to the stream yeah. Curtis is <laughs> Uh, and he wins all the time, all the giveaways. I Him and Dale, so yeah, yeah. I gotta catch a second all win. the time. And uh, yes, and um, Curtis has been playing the legendary Fritz Winchester in Thursday the last two days. So uh, I got two specials in bank right now. You know why? Because of this guy. Right? <laughs> oh man, it's been fun. It's been a blast. That yeah. Thursday game is you've a busy. Busy. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you've yeah, you've been real busy. You've been really busy. And I've been up late, Anna. Yeah, I was with you last night. So yeah, yeah, we were what? late. Oh, you guys are partying late? I yes. went to bed, well, man. I'm and old. We saw some other oh, beautiful celebrities, <laughs> right? That are yeah. really hard. No so, content. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. why I said it. <laughs> Dirty thinkers, <laughs> minds in the gutter. Hey, hey, hey that my through. body's in the gutter. My so, mind might as well keep it going. <laughs> so, so, Curtis, what do you always say to me about this gentleman? More Ed. More, exactly. More, more Ed. Ed on the Well, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> more Ed. More Ed. Um, just got done, ran a game yesterday. Ran I'm trying not today. to get yeah, a what'd you run today? <laughs> I ran Fell Tidings of Willow Blight Abbey, okay. which is a, my homage to the B5 Monastery portion in that when book ended it with some great hot cool. Cool. So, and probably somebody out there, I'm not going to mention any names, Gary Holian, will probably try to talk, <laughs> talk me into writing an article about it, too. So. That's good. Yeah. Um, and then ran uh, a burial campaign adventure last yesterday that is going into something that those same people, including Samwise, have probably talked me into writing a burial for his gazetteer at some point. Okay. Um, it's been great. It is nonstop, though. I knew we were going to be front loaded this weekend. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It is and then I show up and we have part three of Thursday tomorrow, tomorrow morning, which has been a blast. It has been an absolute blast. Kind of mm. highlighted by my good friend Todd Stashwick today. Oh my god! <laughs> our, our good friend Todd Stashwick. Our good friend Todd Stashwick. <laughs> <It's Jamie's laughs> <the best. laughs> Morton was in, on. It was a fun game. It, it was, was fun today. We, so and normally I have seven. Yes, uh, uh, Todd, we added him in. Uh, added Nathan. It was a, it was a good time. Good. It was a good game today. So yeah, I'm stopping in. You know, work is never done. Work's never done when you're under Josh's thumb. Funny how that works. Funny how that works. So we have one, we have one more block of uh, uh, Tower Guy X tonight. Three blocks tomorrow. So by Monday at five. I should be able to take a, you know, a deep breath, breather. and then we start up with Gary Conrad out of it, which is just insane. It's insanity, and it's beautiful at the same time. It's it's now time that you, uh, seven o'clock central. You can tell it should have started. Who's the DM tonight? It was supposed to be a secret. Oh wait, is it seven o'clock? Yeah. yeah. Can I reveal? Yeah, it's, it's Luke Gygax tonight. Luke Gygax tonight. Luke Gygax. Yes. Down. So I know when you go into tabletop events, it looks like I'm running every single event. Right. It's complete and utter covert activity. Mm -hmm. It is a smoke screen because we want to keep the DMs a little bit special. Right. You know, right. Not revealing it. So it's Luke tonight. And then the other three are me, me, and me. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to seeing you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see you, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. you know, I wish it was more Curtis, but it's really more Ed. Yes. That is oh, the jam. Ah, more Ed. More Ed. And how many people did you kill yesterday? I say. Oh, we I think had it was so much fun three? with that. I think it was three. Damn. Three? Um, um, those, those are low two. numbers. Yeah. You gotta bump okay. those numbers up. Well, here's the thing. Um, four characters got to zero hit points. But there That's was a certain... technically cert not killing them. Yeah. And, the, yeah. and they were rescued with healing magic. Yeah. Because... The reinforcements who came in, we should the three the reinforcements, were all clerics. But you killed a thief too, right? Uh, no. No, you didn't. No, and because that thief character got killed in three scenarios. No, no, the thief survived, <laughs> wow. and the thief killed everybody else because he had a wand of wonder, ah. and he believed that when you have a wand of wonder, you should use it every turn. Here's my secret. I, I see logic in that. <laughs> the secret uh, was. <laughs> We, we had a particular character sheet format because Brett and I and Lee, we were, a bunch of us were team 
uh, Tower Gygax. So we're adminning this. Well, the character sheet was just not going to work out for the print, so we were importing the data from the one set of character sheets to the other. Brett is so much more generous than I. <laughs> but, so, but that being said, I the, the happily had a bag of tricks. I said, nah, enough of the con. Let's do something really good. I said, okay, give the halfling thief the wand of wonder because that's only going to cause just hilarity and, and issue. Mayhem. Exactly. And we laughed. How many times? Went. There were six charges, I think, too. Yeah. I think that five. guy used them all up. Uh, he used five. He used five. And then when they were bowing out, he fired the six. <clears> and we were laughing. Oh, yeah. man. He just yeah. knew it. We were kind of egging him on to do it, too. Yeah. So it was awesome. It was awesome. It was great. We had such a blast. Sounds like a, a real fun time. You know, we were sitting there, sitting there last night late uh, watching, and uh, it seemed to be everyone was enjoying themselves. Um, and that's just that's what this is all about, right? And I wrote a new thing, and we got if it. I can't make it here next year, I will write another new thing. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, and nice. I will, um, I'll hand you the e-files when I get home. Um, and the idea was to make it very deployable so it can be used by any... And in this particular one I did this year, you can pluck individual things out of it and drop them into other things. Yeah. So you can kit bash it. Mm -hmm. We want to have a living... <laughs> <laughs> we got one cat. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I hope somebody I puts like, that. The cat with somebody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was awesome. Said. More eggs. Yes. <laughs> And oh I kept my, my clothes on yeah, because we are in Wisconsin, America's Dairyland. Yes. <laughs> yep. so, so, so far, so good. TOG, it's kind of a living document. We're going to be adding things to it cool. as the year goes on. It's a great event. Now I know why you're locking all that up. It is. Yeah, and it is. I, because I got it. Now. You see now because there's certain first run, only run things. There's some great work done. There's some things we did with it yeah. to make it really cool. So that's fantastic. That's what I got, man. Mm -hmm. And I, it's St. Patrick's Day today, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so I've been in a time warm So where are we drinking days. tonight? I got some California bourbon I brought out with me. Do you really? Yes. Yeah, it's, like, it's legit. Legit. So okay. when we're done with, uh, we'll be we'll wrap up to our Gagax the last block tonight. Well, it started we'll at 7, right? Yeah. So, so you're going to be done at 11 o'clock. No, no, 7 to 9. It's oh, it's only a two-hour two block. Two oh, okay. So we'll be done by oh, 9. We'll lock up everything, and we'll be ready by 9.30. Because, you know, my old my old ass can't stay up that late, especially especially DMing the end of this. So I want to, you know. Oh, you do I do need, dude, I do, man. I'll just, <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just leave it at that. Burnout, so. Okay. Two things. Yeah. We invoke the Annemeyer Doctrine at oh. least three times in all in the games that we yes. played today. Yeah. People fired into melee to no good effect. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, that's after we doctrine. warned them, the yeah. one guy, I'm doing it anyway, and then shot uh, Rob's guy, uh, the, the, the Inquisitor, right in the back. Right in the back. Right in the ass cheek, mm -hmm. actually. So, and yeah. then, second of all, we have Chapter 3, Thurs, and tomorrow. Yes, yes, and yeah, and, and we'll they see know how it ends. they're starting to figure out the secret. Secrets of the colors. The colors. Well, you know, he's not really this big evil villain god because. He hasn't managed to wipe out Greyhawk yet. That's How many true. years are you? Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Yeah. He's sort of like Zastam and Say in the realms. Hey, I'm really tough. I'm really evil, and I'm Thalog again. <laughs> <laughs> so now I can hear the whip cracking. I need to get back to uh -oh. Tower Guy. Right, but yeah. thirty seconds. Okay. So don't you shake your head. I invoked because I give up specials. So I invoked oh, a whole wow. bunch. Um, I invoked a whole oh. bunch. Uh, if someone's asking about Guilds of Warp chapter in Colorado, we'll see what we can do for you. Um, a whole bunch of trivia questions based on Todd's career, and like they barely got any of them. Like, like, right? Like, yeah. And so, uh, yeah, right. I feigned going to the restroom just to read his Wikipedia page. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah. I'm trying to cheat. Man, I hope he's not yeah. watching. <laughs> oh, man. No, no, he knew. He told him. He told him. I was like, you know, uh, so in which, which TV series did Todd kill his own father? And they know. And so, like, no one had clear were blanks on everyone's faces. So it's okay. It, was, it is. Yeah. The, 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 the Todd trivia went down the rabbit hole. I'm like, I yeah. have no idea. Yeah, exactly. I just guessed any FBI show you might have been on. <laughs> like, yeah. I had a 50-50 shot. Yeah, the yeah, one person got one right. They said, criminal intent? I'm like, yeah. Uh, 
yeah. Close enough. He's friends with D'Onofrio, so now he was on the same oh, show. Cool. Yeah, he was, the, he was telling us uh, um, uh, on a break that uh, I think they have the same agent uh, on the, on something they do together. So, as, yeah. as your attorney. Yes. As, as your attorney. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Ed, so. I'm here. Yeah, to, for free advice for the week. Okay. Um, um, no, no, I'm joking. I, uh, how many, <laughs> that, pro, that pro bono time would get sucked up. So. Uh, how, how many wives can you have legally at the same time in Wisconsin? Okay, as my own attorney, I am going to not answer. <laughs> <laughs> That's Patrick. Uh, see, uh, Patrick on there? Yeah. Yeah. Right, Thank see, you. I'll see, see you tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Okay. Yeah. Oh. So, uh, oh, wait, that's the other thing. Yeah. Uh, for yeah. everybody out there, all my friends, he's trying to barter specials for me to help him yeah. move his boxes around for his game. <laughs> yep. Is it working? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That, that <laughs> sounds like doing? American Free Enterprise. Yeah. Oh, that's that's right. Right. Scottish yeah. Jeff said he's looking forward to your game. Oh, you have yes. to be Scottish, we just ran it yesterday. It went well. Look yeah. forward to seeing you. All right, Curtis. We'll All see right. you, man. See you <laughs> It yes. If it exactly. works, then I have to. Do it. Capitalism. Yeah, I have to. Um, you know, I just I need to. It's like it's heavy shit, man. Yeah. It's like it's yeah. Okay. It, it's a lot. Uh, and okay. I, yes. Uh oh. Motorized wheel cart. If Jim Ward can have one and Tim Cass can have one, yeah, you can have one too. But those damn steps that are going down a building one. Yeah, you know, I'd be like. Oh no, no, you can get you can get them for the exude their own ramp now. You can go outside too. Yeah, yeah. you can go, go outside. outside. Oh yeah, outside at six, outside six, outside six in o'clock ramp. in the morning. I'll go yeah. outside and, and you know, I I can tell you <laughs> because I'm an old fart. I can tell you that if you turn up the governor on a golf course, no. um, you'll fry the engine, but you can get it up to sixty miles an hour. Yeah, and, and so as we know, there's. <laughs> There's three things I'm not allowed to have in this world. One is a motorcycle, because I'll kill myself. I'll kill myself in a golf cart, too. There's no doubt about it, because I'll do the, a hard turn, and psh, I'll flip the thing. No doubt about it. Okay, so you need to buy a golf cart with a roll cage. Yes, um, I do. I do. I gamers need, I out there, yep. if you start contributing to the J. Scott <laughs> yeah. Preservative <laughs> Go Fund. Go yeah, yeah. 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 There's many more priorities than that in my life. But uh, uh, Patrick, yeah. it's good to see you, Canadian. I didn't, uh, we haven't seen you in a while. Thank you for the gifts. I really appreciate it. Everyone, I appreciate everyone all hanging out. We're just having fun with the discussion. So uh, let's, uh, let's, let's just talk about what's going to come on what we've all done the last two days and what's going to happen uh, tomorrow. How's that sound? So uh, what's happened the last two days with you, Ed? Uh, last two days, I have had a whale of a time. I played a new Keith Baker game on this very yes, table last and night won it, it without being here, yes. yep. which is it. my sort of game. I DM Tower of Gygax, um, yes. and I did not kill some people. Some people killed themselves with okay. bad decisions. Uh -huh. um, they made bad life choices, and <laughs> their lives were part of the choice. And um, I, I ran a um, good old-fashioned classic um, Realms adventure, The Mystery of the Unicorn Chamber, um, which um, uh, Todd should really have had more sleep before he tried to struggle through it, but I think he enjoyed it anyway. Um, and it was a uh, good time had by all. And I just run a panel on the Realms, which was supposed to be you know, how to do a role-playing game in the realms, but turned into uh, just fire your questions and I'll answer them. And three hours later, our one-hour panel was over. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the cool thing about yeah. Founders of Legends, yep. Gary Klein, right. there's openings. Yeah. Yep. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. you go, yeah. and uh, uh, we're, we're, we're in our, our room, Linwood B, and there's only myself and, uh, and Heidi uh, DMing in there, right? Yeah. In the morning, it's like, oh man, it's not packed. You know, it's not mm -hmm. I know, and I'm not complaining, but it's going to be packed this next oh, coming oh, week. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be absolutely. Yeah. This is nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. this Open is nice. here. I like this. So, what have you two done the last couple of days? I know, I know. Well, you, yeah. Uh, what's been going on? Played Sunless or was it Sightless Sisters? Yep, yeah, Sightless Sisters. We and played then that. We played White Plume. Oh, I haven't played White Plume in probably like you know ten. I think. <laughs> yeah. White Plume. Um, uh, we went through and played that, and then tomorrow got the Tower of Gygax. Um, oh, but and we also played a, a game of uh, Villains and Vigilantes where we were oh, superheroes yeah, right. for a little oh, bit. Nice. Yeah, yeah, so that was fun. Well, I remember when it first came out Superhero 2044, and then Villains and Vigilantes came out like three months later. Yeah. And oh, Superhero nice. 2044 was a homemade game and it showed. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. No, no good graphics, and the cut and paste job of the different text fonts of paragraphs. And the villains, <laughs> vigilantes came out and had a cover that looked like a comic book, 
and it's like, oh, somebody edited this. Wow. Right. So, again, yeah. so we tried to run them both and mash them together yeah. to make up for what each one was weak at. And then we said, you know, it would be an awful lot more fun to just put on spandex and go down. I lived in Toronto, sure. big city. Yeah. Um, <laughs> go downtown and, and play it being superheroes and wait to get arrested. It will be more exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I remember those ads for it in, uh, in Dragons, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, going to the going to the joints. It's yeah. all the old games. But the, the biggest thing that we were doing is, you know, uh, with Gary Khan coming, it was, you know, we kind of fill ourselves up for the whole weekend. So like, I'm doing literally 36 hours of mm-hmm. Adventure League. Uh, sold my soul wow. so I could come here and and, and be. Yeah. Uh, it's nine times your DM. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. In three days. Four days. Four days. Yeah, yeah I got a game on Sunday. So you're doing you're, you're DMing. Th- okay. Two, Basically three blocks every day, mm-hmm. because that's how much I like doing this. Mm-hmm. Wow! Yeah, I like doing this. Um, yeah. Wow! Yeah. And so we do gaming because we love gaming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We and certainly I, I, don't do it for the money. Well, I, <laughs> no, I also is, certainly yeah. love you know being like the DM for just random people because mm-hmm. it's a great test of of yeah. one's DM's abilities because I mean you can game with your friends all day and they all shower you with praise and tell you that you're doing a great job but then it's something else to come and sit at a table with a bunch of random people and see if you can get the same reaction out of the bunch of the random people so it's a great test for me and not really random because they also paid money and and correct the dedication to come here just to meet people like you to game with right right yeah so it's the difference between being conscripted into the army yeah yeah yeah. And, showing, and showing up and yeah. playing the stock market. Yeah, yeah. people, sure. you know, that's they're there. That's, that's a solid um, yeah. analogy. Right that's right. Yeah. So like, yeah. I, and, and, and I mean, I will admit, I'm looking through my list of, of oh you know, gosh. the people who are there, and I am, do, I do see repeats of people, mm-hmm. yeah. and so it's it's great to see the people who keep coming Those back and and, and yeah. the <laughs> masochists. I, you know, yeah. I feel like we're having a great time. You know? yeah. like, come on. No, no, I mean, but they they're showing up for repeat pay. You're yeah. sure. Because sure. You're, you're yeah. going adventuring and you could get killed. That's right. And you're fighting icky monsters. Yeah, that's, that, that is true. So we awesome yeah, people and awesome DMs and yeah, that really spend a lot of energy and effort to make it fun. That's mm-hmm. the yeah. yeah. And yeah. I mean and. And it's like I often hear from you know people who come to these shows because I mean I do I do this I do Gen Con I do Game Hole Con I do I do all of and I sign up yeah. and I run games for all in, at all these conventions and I hear time and time again that it's people who come to these these conventions who who they uh, you know they don't have they they. It's always the forever DMs mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. who don't who don't get the chance to play with their actual yeah, group. Exactly, they can come here and, and game with you. That's right, mm-hmm. and I, and I'm happy to provide that, and that's yeah. why we did that. Yeah. That this this weekend for founders because yeah. he runs games for me, I run games for him, but we cool. don't usually get to play directly as characters yeah. together. Yeah. So so you're playing Adventures League. Yes. What question may you have for the creator of Forgotten Realms, please? Don't ask me that. Because <laughs> it's okay. I can sit and I can listen to this man talk all day about the realms, and I do. I uh, when I prep my games, I put on Ed's YouTube channel, and I just let him just. Hi. It's <laughs> 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 yeah, awesome. Like, oh, yeah. what, what, we had no, I can't. Had I can't. I really, really on yeah, the, I can't. On the chat. No. I really, I honestly, I can't. Okay. 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 So, the spine story for Adventures League this yeah. year. Yeah. Is Legacy of Worlds. That's right. And I'll be playing in Legacy of Worlds at Gary Con, and at Origins, at at Gen Con, and at Dragon Con, and at Game Hole Con. And then we will start filming season two. (laughs) But we went up to Cambridge, Ontario, where Tommy Gofton has his studios, Mm -hmm. and in eight days, we filmed 26 episodes. And... Well, because we weren't unionized, we could keep going and keep <laughs> oh, yeah, going okay, and keep going. That's true. Yeah. And, and that's, that's Keith Baker playing Merrick Stacanath of Eberron. Mm-hmm. Elisa Teague playing Elise, the runaway bride of Victor Frankenstein, or Victorina, she's still the runaway bride, of Ravenloft. Yeah. And that's me playing Elminster, and Tommy Gofton plays Lynn, Lynn, Loholt Lynn Vander, a time paladin from Imaria, his world, and we visit and Luke. all. Yeah, Luke Gygax Luke, Luke, playing Luke. Milf from Greyhawk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, I was gonna save oh, him okay. for last, you're but you're right. That in. I'm you're right. Sorry. No, no, that's okay. totally okay. And then, then we have a bunch of other people 
who will be probably less familiar to people, playing interesting characters we meet when we go to Athos, um, Mistara, uh, the City of Doors, um, the world of Red Steel, the world of Birthright. You know, we do oh, all, all the of classic all the yes. Wow. Yeah. Really? All, everything. And wow. this can be seen where? Um, on the Six Sides of Gaming yeah. channel on YouTube okay. every Tuesday. Uh huh. I think 8.30 Eastern, but yeah. don't quote me on that. Yeah. But, you know, that's when it's premiere, and you'll be able to see them all afterwards. But wow. we'll be doing celebrity side quests at all those cons, and the Adventures that's League right. things are tied to that. That's right. We're running yeah. a game that's tied directly to that. And uh, pretty much, as I've been told, um, I haven't been doing my prep lately on that, so I don't exactly know what's the adventure on that. Sorry, everybody. Design yourself out, man. I know. I, I, I'll be honest with the audience, really. That's what I am. That's cool. Yeah. But uh, but uh, as far as I know, as soon as you are done with your live game, they turn to us and go, yep. it is your turn, and we start playing our game live in the Adventure Hall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For cool. everybody yeah. there. So F it's going to be exciting. And That's for F those of you who want to know the flavor of it, if you just go to Six Sides of Gaming and you look up the shorts and right. you just play one short after another, we did two warm-up campaigns. Yeah. Um, Destiny of Worlds and Mysteries of Mana. And Mark Muir played a gith oh, Mark pirate cool. full rubber oh, armor and, 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 and one of them. And it is real fun. Because you'll get to see things like Elise T giving the best death glare <laughs> across the table. Awesome. Because as the old... Okay, can you imagine? Luke Gygax sitting beside Keith Baker sitting beside me. Across the table, Tommy is sitting beside Elisa. And Elisa is having a very tender moment and he's crying for real because of what's happening to her character. And we're going, imaginary popcorn. <laughs> and then Keith is going, kiss, 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 oh kiss. God. And she, she is alternately about to kill us and breaks out laughing. <laughs> so, well, and, and she says, you three, we can't use that word on this podcast, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she uses next, <laughs> but we're just having fun. Yeah. And afterwards, she wants to take us for drinks because she had so much fun. <laughs> but at the time, she wanted to kill us. <laughs> so uh, she That's gave us a death stare yeah, last night. So yeah. In that board game. Oh, yeah. Because well, that was a gentle death stare. Yeah, that was gentle. You yeah. wait. Uh, you yeah. see the one she gives Keith. Oh my! Oh, that's cool. <laughs> very, very cool. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, what, what do you? What do you, So, what have you been doing last two days? Uh, I've been running Tower of Gagax for a couple hours. That was awesome, and included a bunch of uh, hasty prep. And me ra having run a first edition game in thirty years, almost something. So I had to, yeah, since, yeah, since, well, since nineteen ninety or something like that. Then. <laughs> And, but it was a lot of fun, and and I've never had a bunch of players that a group of players that had were more enthusiastic about gaming than, than Tower of Gagax. It was it was a blast, <laughs> and it involved enlarging a table, troll, uh, and and stuff. So the, yeah, there was shoving a table down a set of stairs and then enlarging it twice, <laughs> and and a bunch of other stuff. So so it, it was yeah. So it was it was a lot of fun, and and we had a lot of yeah a lot of laughing. I don't think I've been around the table when we left as much as we did at that session. That was fantastic. So thanks to Brett and Curtis for organizing it so well. I'd, I'd like to register the standard Canadian complaint. Uh-huh. Mm. Americans ruin the games by practicing beforehand and preparing. Yeah, you I, have to do it the British way, where people yeah. are sitting in a pub getting drunk, old men. Ah. And then somebody says, hey, cricket. And they get up drain their tankards and go out to play cricket half cut on the wow. village green. I, I did That's the in real version. sports. Yeah, I did the in-between version, meaning, oh, oh, and now I need to prep the ah, convention yes. a, a little bit, so to speak. So yeah. it was a lot of wing it, but it was yeah. a lot of fun. And This then, is also how we did Rome's products yeah. at the old yeah. TSR. Yep. <laughs> that I said. Yep. Sure that secret. Yeah. And then I've done a, a, a bunch of been on people's podcast interviews, YouTube channels, a couple well, of done stuff like that. Yeah, uh, all over the place. And then I've talked to some of my patrons, been awesome. And, oh, and I've talked about uh, future project, projects, can't say anything yet. 
um, uh, that is sure really cool. Sure, you can. No, no, I can't. Yeah, yeah it's it's kind of cool. And I'm oh, also going to to uh, prep yeah. for my seminars and hanging out with awesome people. That's been the. I don't know if we yeah. qualify for that. Or not. No. I do. Well, sure we don't. Yeah. Oh, thanks, though. Mm -hmm. um, I, yeah. I I think we <laughs> fall more under the yeah. category of. Comfortable old farts. Yeah, yes. and I almost uh, almost screwed up someone's first date before I got here, but that, that's oh. another story. They were, they, were, they were on the first date. Huh? Yeah, they were on their first date, and she asked me a question, and you know me, when you ask me something, it takes half an hour, and that poor guy was sitting there, and then then, then they said after 20 minutes, oh, we're on our first date, and I said, oh, I should <laughs> fuck out of this. <laughs> that, that was a lot of awesome. fun. Oh, come on, you were yeah. just giving him prep time. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Yep. Yes. Yep. So that, 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 was, that was kind of fun. Oh, my God. Because they are so normal great. people here, not only us gamers, so, so yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I was rather walked last night about the yeah. wedding. Th this the weekend, the wedding that was yeah. walking through. Mm -hmm. yep. All these gorgeous women in matching red gowns because they yep. were the bridal yeah, party. There, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And they were escorting the bride through, and, and it was like, oh, are you sure you're not in a game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a, uh, that was pretty cool. And yep. there's a lot of a uh, lot of because uh, there's still. Because this this round of legends doesn't take up everything. There's still exactly. normal now everyday we, activities yeah, we only take yeah. going on here. Next weekend. weekend will be a little different. Yeah, then then uh, it's know, only so. us next weekend. Yeah. So yeah. then we can only go completely us. crazy. Only yeah. us. Yep. So well, that's good because I didn't bring enough clothes. For you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you only need to worry about this weekend. Okay. The, the rest you can. We are go. conserving underwear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Um, just kidding. Just yeah. kidding. No, we're just. <laughs> Contact good. lenses, I'm definitely <laughs> conserving. I realized I only got four days of contacts left. I'm like, oh boy. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't pack enough. Okay. No worries. So, no, I'm just going to see. Yeah, I'm just going to go glasses. Yeah. For, yeah. Throw glasses yeah. and so Yeah, yeah. So you're good. Oh, yeah. I got to know all the material by heart. Yeah, but, you know, we got a lot of social okay. events coming up. Okay. Yeah, we fair. do have the social events. So. Yeah. Yep. I have seen Tables of Gamers giant magnifying glasses and they roll the dice and then they <laughs> serious oh, you need bigger dice then. that's no, why the titans man you well, one the time titans. i was running an al game with you, like a, i don't remember when but somebody brought dice that were oh, literally small, like, like oh, that yeah, big yeah, yeah and i'm like really like <laughs> i'm like okay yeah, if, if, that, if that all works for you mm -hmm. whatever but <laughs> mm -hmm. i'm like i can't i can't see it <laughs> Tempest, we'll make sure that you meet up with lisa i, I owe her a drink from last night so mm -hmm. yeah uh um, uh, we'll get that taken care of. And by the way, that was something that happened in the old TSR days. Because we were publishing the realms and we were using mouse type, going down to six point oh, yeah. oh, and cool, making cool, margins cool. thin because I wanted <laughs> gamers to play. Decent it's only, bang it's for only the bucks. teaser. Sure. And uh, now the, older me goes, You ones. idiot. Because uh, <laughs> I can't the read them. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, Cholo's got 300. 300 uh, so everyone, yeah, I'm going to show it live. Yes, ah, there you go. Yes. Yes. So uh, put that out there. Uh, the, the first of many, Jay. First of many. So there, Duff, you want to put that in front of the camera for a sec? I live like a sir. I know you do. <laughs> I know you do. Yes. So there you go, everyone. So it's out. It's a reality. Um, it's the, the Free City of Altamira teaser guide, 20 pages, great artwork, great Adam Meyer maps, some teaser storylines, some teaser on the classes, uh, some teasers on the monsters within uh, just uh what's going on behind the scenes you know uh all for the world of Aaron and altamira and i'm really excited and uh, when will the big one come uh, up uh, kickstarter yeah. we're told fourth quarter beginning okay. of fourth quarter kickstarter will be ready to go for that uh because uh, you know ed and i had a little talk a couple weeks ago after the fundraiser and it took it to heart and that is give us the, the this advice on if you really want to be creative what you need to do you need to do it. You need to put your bum on the chair and your fingers on the keyboard and do it. Mm -hmm. Because none of us have enough time in our lives to do what we want. Yeah. And if you put it off until you have time, you will die, maybe young, maybe old, and it will not be out there. So if you want to do something creative, do it. Because now, Jay has done that. Nobody can take that away from him. It is out in the world. I can do it. I am proof you can do it. I've done hundreds of Realms products hundreds because I just shorted myself on sleep, food, um, common sense, <laughs> drove, drove while I was asleep behind the wheel, all these things to get those products out there because they're more important than my continued good health. Seriously, if you want to do something, do it. Do not wait till tomorrow because tomorrow never comes. Do the creative thing 
and then you have done it, nobody can take it away from you. And then do the next one. Because by then, being crazy will be a habit. And then it just becomes your personality. Yeah. That's right. It's just what you do. Yep. Yeah. It was prophetic, uh, and it actually put a tear in my eye when you said that to me, because it's so true. And mm -hmm. it, put, it put perspective in my life. I just don't know. Mm -hmm. and, and, and getting this to this point, there's no reason it's going gonna, it's gonna to get to the other point. We're going to have, right, don't you dare. Are you going to eat ice cream? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. I cannot believe that you like, just did that to me. I was like, ice cream? And I was like, yep. <laughs> Do you see this? Do you see what he's doing? He's eating ice yeah. cream. For, it's just, it for him. Oh, my God. Not for you. <laughs> I was going to say, I saw This is two, 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 two years. Year, Jay we were, ate my ice cream. No, that was two years ago. Jay. Two years oh, ago. That's right. You weren't Jay, in the nation. Appreciate <laughs> how sensually he's eating. Yes, the ice cream uh, absolutely. Yep. My gosh. That yeah. mask. I like that you noticed. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We need an ice cream emote, yes. So we went from something that was very prophetic and tear jerking to you just sitting there stuffing your face with ice cream. That's really nice. Solid Thank transition. you very much. It was great. It was a solid transition, Josh. <laughs> no, 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 he's restoring balance to the world. Yes. yes. So, Scottish Jeff, Jay, tell my boss I say hello. I guess, I, I guess that's you, right? Because you're everyone's boss. So, Ed, thank, I mean, for that, I mean, I thank you personally for that, for that discussion that we had because it means everything. Also, for a possibility, I'm not going to give away anything of the other thing that's going on beside behind the scenes. We may hear something positive here or not, and uh, that would be also to and if get you moving on that. That turns into a serious basket. So yep, you win absolutely. one way or the other. You That's win. it. Absolutely. Yeah. But we for won. all of you who are doing the job, you may be good at it, you may make a lot of money at it, but if the job is not your soul, like if you're a master salesman, but that's not your soul, do something creative. Because then you've done something and you could be proud of it and it's out of the world because you did it. I mean, yes. I know Anna had a huge career. And it was an important career yeah, but before I she moved still across want to the do pond. Maps and, but and, yeah, mm -hmm. you want to do what you I wanted. wanted yeah, yeah I, I needed to feel like I needed to sit here and do maps. Yeah. Yep. And once they're done, all they're out in the world. Yep. And nobody can take it away. And long after Anna is gone, people can enjoy <laughs> her maps. Yep. Yeah. And. Oh, Josh. Some enjoy their ice cream. Oh, Josh, yeah. let, let that vanilla yeah. cold slide down your throat. Yeah. Yeah. Let it caress your throat silkily. Yeah. And you too can pay $4.99 a month to hear Ed talk to you in such a manner. I want to hear Ed read. Do you, Ed, do you do any like voice work? Or you oh, yeah. Much? yeah. I do voice work. But I also I also answer the phone at the public library, <laughs> and they told they told me to stop because the little old ladies kept phoning back. <laughs> oh, geez. seriously, because you know, I <laughs> the lines are all tied up because they keep calling for help. Oh. That's so funny because uh, I worked at a movie theater once, and I was the guy who at the end of every night they would give me the list of like the next movie times, mm. and so I would leave the outgoing voicemail. Mm -hmm. And I'd be like, well, thank you for calling the Alamo Draft House. You know, you know, it's the movie times of all these things. And I record it like seven times because I keep messing up. And then, but then, yeah, I'd have so much feedback of being like, are you that guy who, like, we call in and get the movie? You're the yes. voice. I, you're the you're voice, the voice. Right? right? And I'm like, yeah, that's cool. Hi. That's cool. Are right. you all sitting comfortably? <laughs> because you, I, unfolding before you is another Gavin. That's right. And we're gathered right. around this table we're with around this giants table. of the gaming industry. And we're gabbing, sitting in a swimming pool full of jello. <laughs> well, Where did jello come well, from? Josh hey, Pop, we don't ask well, questions. Josh Pop we don't ask questions. enjoys ice cream. <laughs> and there's a story behind that, which we won't go into now. But yep. Josh is going into it with every spoonful <laughs> sliding down his throat. Welcome to uh, <laughs> D&D After Dark. Yeah. Yes. Now Absolutely. there's a product I floated at TSR years <laughs> ago. <laughs> and they actually put Andrea Hayde in charge of the adult game line. Oh, they were, they were contemplating it? Yep, which Lorraine oh. killed. And I had this earnest argument with her in the 
you know, the one-story elevator? Because they would right. send me to say things to Lorraine that would get them fired if they were on staff. <laughs> but they, she couldn't fire me because I didn't work for her. Yeah. And I said, Lorraine, don't you understand? The stuff Touchstone does doesn't besmirch Disney. That's why they created Touchstone. Right. You have to create a separate imprint and brand and just not refer to it, except in the legal copy on the front page that says registered trademarks of TSR Incorporated used with permission. And then people think, oh, it's an outside license. They're using it with permission. Mm -hmm. And and what, what stinks over here will not taint what's over here. And she said, no, Ed, they'd find out they're gamers. Well, of course they would. Gamers will That's find out everything. Yeah. But do. it's not the gamers you have to convince. They will buy it because it's from you. What year was yeah. that, Ed? Oh, God. 86, 87? Yeah, 87, 87, 88, 88. Dave! Yeah. Please, Dave. That, get up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dave Squire. I'm Dave, I'm Dave, what, uh, Dave, where is my game that I'm running in between? <laughs> what, where's the venue? Or do I just show up at the uh, Evergreen? <laughs> Which evergreen are you putting them in? Josh is the controller of that. One of the evergreen rooms. One of the evergreen rooms. Yeah, one of the evergreen rooms. Uh, uh, we like the yep, two. Upstairs. The okay. We like the yep. two. I will send a message oh, to you, and then I will tell you three times. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> okay, give, okay. Us, give us three minutes. How's that? Three minutes. All right, you yes. got it. Yeah. So yeah. right here. Jo- we're going to make Josh move, so we want you prying. Now. Because Josh is almost, almost finished. Yeah, right. 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 We'll, put you, we'll put you next to me, Dave. That's it. Look at that. I can't believe we, we've been making him move. No, no. Even Duff says move. Now, That's Josh it. has just... Oh, there's one play that Josh hasn't yeah, made yet. He hasn't done the money shot, you know, where you put it on your tongue and then yeah, you... Yeah, well, he's, he's trying. You heard this story, right? Two years ago, I accidentally ate his ice cream. Two years ago... Yeah. Oh, you did. Josh yeah. had uh, ice cream for the whole family and placed it on the table next to J and J. Just hey, you put it right in front eating. of me. I thought it was from me. I, I would have eaten that too. Yeah, exactly. See, exactly. Yeah. So uh, don't take his side. <laughs> so he, first, he's evil. Oh my gosh. Evil. So first two days, how how do you Ooh, think? I just so like far? to watch. Found oh, charges. Easy. Yeah. You know, easy peasy. Easy you know, peasy. It's you know, good. Not only is it a small no size convention, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> comparatively, we, um, <laughs> we, yeah, we are one. we are so overstaffed <laughs> for, for this convention with people like Josh and others that just they know what they're doing. F N L C. I know. Okay. I know. So, but but like all of the staff for for GaryCon is here with right. just Did a few with t-shirt? just a few exceptions. This is a Tom Wom yeah, drawing. For, yeah, that's awesome. To, uh, a tramp. A Tramp original redrawn by Tom, and it's being sold by our company. It's almost a Snitch Revenge-like, right? Wow. Is that? Yeah. It's really yeah. cool. Tom Wom, TSR employee number 13. Yes. Right. Tom, yeah, yeah. Yep. Sounds yeah. right. Who's here? He walked past me. Yeah. You, you were 33, 32? Somewhere in that range, yeah. I was never an employee. I was never an employee. Neither was Len, right? Len was never yeah. an employee that's right. either. Never an employee. Right. right. However, yeah. that's right. he got paid yeah. by I the word. I was RPGA <laughs> member 20. <laughs> Oh, oh, really? There were number 20. were company people. Oh, that you oh wow. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. I got, for I got you beat on that one. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I was lucky enough to be in the department, the RPGA slash Gen Con department, when RPGA was just spinning up. Uh, so I was I was I got my foot in the door and, and twisted Frank's arm to make make him give me the, the thir- number 13 lifetime Mm-hmm. Uh, lucky number. membership. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. Well, so. Dave's got uh, characters in one of the adventures, I know. Uh, uh, Living uh, City. Uh, yeah. Something the Good. No, oh, no, well, one of the RP, one of the, uh, well, well, it's an RPGA adventure, right? Yeah, the, so Frank, well, Frank was like my and others in our group, you know, our regular DM for years. You know, we played every week, if not more. Uh, and so he's creating all of this content. Obviously, he must have pulled a bunch of that you know, from, from his own campaigns. Thanks, Max. I'll just take a moment. Thanks. Me too, Max. Thank you. Uh, you know, from his own campaigns while he's writing this, all of this content for RPGA. So, you know, so some of all of our characters got pulled into these adventures. You know, well, these maybe I'm thinking of what were the ones that were like the, the, the ones that now they've got the funny colors and they're all like, you know, 2500 bucks a piece. Uh, what no, that, that that no. Those are the those are the like Fox. Dax Island. No, those are the Fox ones. That's that's oh, yeah. 
That was um, that oh, was Menser. Like that was Menser and uh, Jim Exactly. Oh, yeah. That was Menser. They were oh, okay. the R series. They were, they were RPGA right. adventures, right. and they turned into Egg of the Phoenix. Right. Yes. Yeah. 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 So in one of those, Dave, there's a there's an NPC that's uh, James. That James. Good. James yeah. the Good. That's yeah. yours. That yeah. was my cleric. Yeah. yeah. James. And Egg of the Phoenix was originally published in a white. A nine by twelve file folder with typewritten sheets inside it, <laughs> and a and a lick and stick sticker on it saying "Egg of the Phoenix." <laughs> really? In, in dot wow. matrix because they were handed out to all the DMs at the at the convention. Cool. Yeah, yeah. You and know, we didn't need no stinking color illustrations. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if oh, man, if we was... only knew, you know, even thinking about Len, you know, Len wrote all kinds of mm-hmm. adventures for convention but. tournaments and things like that. You know, we've re- 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 the, the, the yep. community's released two. We got two more coming, right? Yep, two more coming. Two more coming. Troy's been yes. picking butt. Yep. Yeah. They've uh, discovered these. these. Now, you ready for this one? Ed, tell that story again about Len that we need to find this. Len wrote a one shot for a Kenosha Parkside era Gen Con yep. called Beneath the Barrier Peaks. We got five. And he ran it as a four-hour event. Yeah, yeah. we gotta yeah. find that. Yeah. Yeah. We have to go over stuff Attention again. Attention, internet. Yeah. Find it. Well, how yeah. can you, Bill Meinhardt may have this. We got. It might have been one of the ones See, that you know. Exactly. Yeah, so, yeah, and, yeah that, and that's what I was just gonna say too, because that, that was during yeah. the era that I was helping to run Gen Con. So okay. I would have had some. Backdoor We're putting yeah. a bounty on access to a yeah. lot of this so we'll, kind of we'll stuff. We'll see if we can find something. Yeah, I remember there. seeing, you know, back then we we would print all of this stuff out on the dot matrix printers, yep. and you know, and it would be all yep. perf together in one big long strip. Yeah, that's what Anna's got like a box of. Yeah, so mm-hmm. I mean, I remember seeing a few of those adventures back in the day, but. I don't know what I did. Anna, with them. Anna uh, brought along the original uh, L3 without the modifications. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow. Yes. Yes. You guys have And we, the original Lend the Cup. We got Curtis on. We got Brett on. Come on. Is that right? Just say hi, man. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I got to get back to it. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see yeah. We're going to show them on, uh, when we have the, the seminar. Uh, we have kind of legendary uh, Greyhawk uh, and uh, legendary no, no, Lumps no. maps. Yeah. We've got the seminar to show them. We got the yeah, great antiquitist Alex Dominski here. There you go, man. All right. Hello, I see something on me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so if you don't know, Al- Alex is not far from me, and uh, Alex has done a lot and has helped me out a lot of conventions, including Packs Unplugged, mm-hmm. Page. So um, I'm so happy you're here for the entire week. Man. Thank you. Appreciate it. First time? First time. First time here. Oh, Did not right. do a thing today. Well, I'm not hungry at all. I want to keep going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How's it been so far? Good. I mean, I played with Luke, I played with Heidi, uh, Curtis, uh, see, for Corny. So wow. Yeah, been a wow. Whole, you're, really you're not holding back. Damn, no. you've been lucky. Hold out all the big guns. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you, you got, Anna? Yeah. and someone got one of the two open badges for two drink minimum game on Saturday. Oh. And guess what? Alex, tell everyone what you, genius idea you came up with. Uh, I'm going to be taking over for our void as Teleport Stunknorth. Oh. Yes, oh. we asked permission. <laughs> yes. And we asked permission, and, and Eric Boyd said, sure, as long as he plays him like he, you know, has a death wish. Don't, exactly. don't kill him. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm going to die. No, no, I know you're going to die. <laughs> you are. <laughs> all so, death is in him. And you are the yes. party tank. So, Peronius declares. So, thanks for the memories. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it was just lying. And we day. all know. We all so, know. I'm going to be using a lot of Ed stuff against him. Yeah, he's brought out genius things. One that he hasn't, but it's an Ed thing. You'll see. Can't wait. He looks so excited. <laughs> he looks. So, yeah. The come on, the bleeder, and we had, and Bill made up the miniature for it last year. That's true. Come on. Yeah. That, yeah. You see, I was sort of hoping that the <laughs> angels would be involved, but I, I, I know instead <laughs> it's going to be game stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> We will have some things. We'll have some surprises. You never know. You yes, you never know what, what I may throw out there in order to the group. So oh. I'm looking forward to it. You I mean, just <laughs> uh, and uh, Kurt's playing with the angels, uh, or, or Coco and Bird during what game? The Muppets. The Muppets. No, <laughs> no puppets. Muppets. <laughs> I'm surrounded by Muppets, and that's going to eat with the puppets. There we go. It's <laughs> time to. No, 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 no. We have to pay money if we do. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. last last year's fifth uh, fundraiser, 
um, was legends. And for so, Eric Marner always likes Dave, always likes me to run a, I'm sorry, a, a really bad adventure that was published. I've done Gargoyle, right? I don't want to say anything bad, but Puppets, the adventure, uh, I kind of did it for the fundraiser, but I called it Puppets and Then Some. And so Ed played in it, right? Oh, yes. You played Rattle Antar in it, and we wow. had Luke in it, and we had uh, Eric Boyd, and that was last year's. And then Luke said, this was fun. Why don't you play it at GaryCon next year? Oh, I was like, geez. okay. <laughs> so, Why don't you spread the misery yeah. around? <laughs> yeah. Thank, so, you. Thank you very much. Look at that. You get to do that. Yeah, yeah it's, it's going to be great. <laughs> it's going to be great. Yeah. It's going to be a blast. So uh, I, the, uh, all With painted, special, minutes, yeah. special yeah. custom painted miniatures of Freddy McKrueger, which is a published yep. source Yep. Evil, crazy leprechaun, right in that adventure puppet. So we got all sorts of great oh, yeah. miniatures, really funny stuff. So that's going to be a fun one. And that all is, sorts that's of Thursday. people who would not be your dream date at the prom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so that'll be Thursday, and then we got Slavs on Friday, and then we got Ed and uh, uh, Alex and Tony and Bill Meinhardt and Chuck Gumbo um, and one other sign up. Uh, and I brought the T-shirt. You did. You did good. I may you know wear nothing worth- else, but I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So, um, <laughs> Dave, what do we got going tomorrow? I got a highlight for tomorrow? Do I? Yeah. Um, uh, no, Fish actually, I don't. Um, tomorrow, I, I, you know, today I was running the Wamathon with Tom. Okay, um, cool. And uh, we, I think we ran like four or five games. So that was all, that was all fun. We, we don't, you know, we used to do that all the time. You know, we, all of the little conventions around here, dozens of them, you know, over right. a couple of years, we'd go to, you know, six or eight cons every year. <clears throat> um, and we used to run the Wamathon all the time. So it was really cool. And that, then, the, then we stopped doing that, stopped going to a lot of conventions. Um, some of them died off and you couldn't go to them. So anyway, <laughs> we stopped doing it. But a couple, a, a year or so ago, we started up doing it again at Phoenix Con. Okay. Uh, and so this is the first time, and unfortunately, because of my role at GaryCon in the you know over the last number of years, I haven't been able to help Tom do that kind of thing at GaryCon. Uh, so unfortunately, it hasn't been here until now at, at Founders and Legends. Uh, we were able to bring it back. So that, that was so cool to bring that back. Yeah. Awesome. Um, tomorrow, <clears throat> tomorrow for me, it's really just kind of. Um, Getting back to business, sort of, because uh, we're wrapping up, wrapping up founders. Uh, we've got some meetings with the hotels tomorrow to, to kind of kick off the the conversion of all of the rooms that are there and the ones that they haven't set up yet for uh, right. for GaryCon. So we start meeting with all of the department heads tomorrow and awesome uh, all yeah. that, and then uh, and then it you know and I think we're uh, uh, I'll be. Uh, Touching base with uh, the folks at the museum downtown as well, Geneva Lake Museum, uh, to kind of make sure things are in place for Tuesday. There's a game going on down there, and then Wednesday a big party going on. You know, their open house um, uh, on Wednesday night. So, lots of parties this year. Oh, yeah, yeah there are. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, there is. Lots oh, of parties. Oh dear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I had so many. You gotta get me a VIP party. You got me a. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> well, it's actually in the it's actually in the nightclub to start, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Evolve, I think, is where they're okay. Going. Yeah. Yeah. Thursday. Yeah. For and me, then, it's uh, the TSR reunion. You know, yeah. Uh, the what? The TSR reunion. That's in the that's in the chalet. Yeah. 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 What night's that? Is that Wednesday? That's Saturday. Night. That's sa- oh, that's the that's Saturday. Okay. Yeah. 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 Late late night. So seven seven to midnight. Cool. Um, Oh, that's the one Andrew, Sir Andrew invited me to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. right. He's, yeah. We'll see. Is that, well, 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 I don't, he, I'm just, or does he have another party? Does he have a different one? There's, there would be a different he one. He has a different it's one. His own yeah. That's a war party. Yeah, okay. exactly. The okay. War, yeah. All right, cool. He's, he's so yeah. party. No, it's not nice. For me, it'll be whether I'm up to walking to the chalet at that time. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be way too drunk to legally How far is the chalet from here? Is oh, it's down there. Yeah. Well, it's still a walk. Good, close to a mile. Oh, yeah. It's a mile. That's Lots okay. There's a I shot would walk a mile for TSR. Yeah. I would walk a mile for TSR back again. I would walk more than a mile for yeah. TSR back again. Wow. Because crazy as it was, it was a family. Right. It okay. was. Yeah. I just got done saying that to these guys over here. You know, he, he was asking me, 
you know, what is it that I that I enjoy about this place? You know, either this convention or even GaryCon, uh, and you know, I and I said, I think you asked me that question last year. Yeah. And I, my mind immediately goes to the same answer every time, and it's it's seeing old friends. You yeah. know, it's it's for for me at least, this is truly a family reunion. Mm -hmm. You know, those early days at TSR, you know. We, we truly grew into a small family that, you know, kept growing because there was a lot of growth in those early years, uh, you know, but like no other company that I've ever mm -hmm. been at before, that group of people, even today, 40 some years later, are still just as close. Mm -hmm. um, you know, well. we, we don't see each other every day, but when we do, mm -hmm. it's like we, like we haven't been a part of it all, you know? It's yeah. yeah. And I, I remember with the, the that sad day when they were doing that last party and everybody was shredding their 401ks. And yes. Stuff and, it, and Carol Hubbard said to me, oh, Ed, um, um, you shouldn't be eating those hot dogs. They're carbonized. And I was doing the Canadian thing. You don't waste anything. So the hot dogs that are burnt <laughs> on the grill, I was eating them. <laughs> and she says, oh, you shouldn't. You, you might get cancer. They're, they're all carbon. I said, Carol, it's okay. I don't work for you. And she goes, no, that's not the point. <laughs> You're a young man. You did, and I was like, wow, this is it, this is HR. Yeah, this is yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's great to it's great to you know have those memories. It mm. is. It's awesome. And and extend beyond just memories, but have <clears throat> have the connections you know that that you can uh, renew. Uh, often. I don't want to get you teared up, but I'm going to ask the question. All right. Who are you going to miss? I can't guarantee. I, I okay. Won't. Who are you going to miss this year that can't make it? You know, I guess I have to say Jim Ward. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, you know, he's he's in ICU right now. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, so. Okay. Uh, he's Sad he's again. struggling a bit. Mm -hmm. He, you know, there's there's a chance that he might be released from the hospital. Um, but it's it's tough. I tough mean, to get, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, so okay. he had that heart attack, and they're they're wanting to do a scope test mm -hmm. to see what kind of damage was done, uh, and uh, they haven't been able to do that yet. So um, you know, so they're still unsure yet as to how how much. Damage and that's was not done. good because they don't do the scope test because you're not well enough. To yeah, do exactly. It. Well, and because yeah. he had pneumonia as well at the same time. Oh man. Uh, so. Um, uh, so yeah, he's he's been struggling. I, I heard secondhand today that he was, even though he's still in ICU, he's been kind of awake and talking more. So he's feeling a little better, from what I hear. Okay. Um, uh, but uh, but yeah, it's on. It's it's almost certain that he won't be making it to Gary mm -hmm. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. I'm really sorry to hear that. In fact, if he even if he got out of the hospital in time. And if he tried coming, because you know right. him, he will mm -hmm. he will try to be here if he if he's yeah out you know. But he can't get out of the car and into the car without his wife's assistance. Right. And she would go no. Yeah. I hope so. Yeah. yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. I would if mm -hmm. I had any influence. Yeah. Because because yeah. uh, in his condition, he doesn't yeah. need to be in a crowd like this. Yeah. Also, uh, I guess Roger Moore's not coming anymore, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. right. Yeah. It's a shame. He, Yep. Yeah, yeah. Roger's been such a nice guy, and uh, you know, awesome. just uh, yeah. I know he had some. He had uh, surgery on his eye, I think. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, how about Larry Elmore? Is Larry not coming? Uh, last year was his last, or is he coming this year? Yeah, last year was his last. Okay. But but <laughs> he, he changed his mind. Oh, did he? Okay. Yeah. So, so he's got a booth even. Oh this year. Wow. So wow. We, oh, we, right. were, we were going to bring him back just as a special guest, just so he could be here. What? Uh, but he decided to. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna need to interview him, don't you think? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. That's, That's great yeah. to hear. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he's got. That's a, a good. Big luckily, positive. there's a there's a guy I'm forgetting what it, what the other gentleman's name is. He, he's he's actually an assistant. He's helping both Larry and Jeff Easley mm -hmm. kind of do some of the organizational yeah. stuff and mm -hmm. you know Jeff. money yeah. things and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it, it helps to get those guys here so mm -hmm. they can just. Focus on being here and talking yeah. to people. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's really oh, good. Okay. Yeah. I do miss the old days, though, when all the TSR family was walking around in jeans and 
yeah. <laughs> and teachers, and they were all so much younger. And I see, I pull out those photos and I go, what happened to those people? I never see them anymore. <laughs> Seriously, because, and then you see them now, those of them who are still with us, and you go, oh yeah, time happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah, TSR was a special time as well as a special place. I was never on staff, but I got to, like, spend 10 days each year at Gen Con time visiting. And it was like, this place is fun. I'd love to work here. And, of course, I knew better because they right. would, they you, would you phone me. You can also hear all the bad <laughs> stories, yeah. They, I was Father Confessor because they'd phone me at the library and bitch about what had yeah. ever happened yeah. that day, yeah. knowing I couldn't tell anyone because it didn't mean anything to anybody else yeah. and, and I would say oh oh that's terrible yeah I would have done the same oh that's terrible I you were under a TSR NDA right? yeah okay. and I put the phone down and it would ring and it would be the other side the of the other room, room. Like, you know what happened today oh my god it's like oh oh and I pretend I never heard the first thing yeah. really oh oh wow. you're dead. <laughs> and I put the phone up which I love because as a fan d and fan I want to know what was going on at TSR I yeah. want to know about new products I want to know about everything but it was like Geez, I know way more about whose marriage is in trouble and who's going to sleep with who than I should. <laughs> well, uh, you know, you're in in there in a secret, you know. The secret oh yeah, yeah. You're the secret. a gossip guy. Oh yeah, which I, is awesome. I got I got sent to places in Lake Geneva to pick up birth control pills and other things oh for people gosh. under the QT <laughs> because hey. You've got a car. Yes, I do. You're from Canada. You don't know any of us. Good. <laughs> we haven't crossed the line yet. Yeah, no, 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 no. And Bruno's Liquors. Yeah. That was the other place I got sent. Yeah. It's been around forever. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm glad to hear that about Larry. That's a good, that's great. That is really good. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Uh, how about Tim Cask? I understand he was in Fort Hunter. He, he is. He'll be here Thursday, uh, Wednesday. He arrives Wednesday. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good. That's good to hear, too. Yeah, he and Jim Waffler drive. Drive up together. Mm -hmm. Nice. Fantastic. Tim was editor of Dragon when I started writing for Dragon. Back in the Dear Dawn day. Wow. wow. And he sent, he sent postcards that were green because he was Irish and had Celtic not work all around. Oh, really? The that said, you, uh, and they had two check boxes. You've been accepted, you've been rejected. <laughs> and you always look to see where the check mark was. How many times did you get rejected, Ed? Never. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. Um, wow. Uh, Dale Donovan once said we can't use this, okay. which meant it got it went into another product half a oh. year later, mm -hmm. okay. because the the article was called Dragon Soup, and it was all how you did recipes for monsters, and he said no no there there are there are sentient monsters you're eating here, and I said yeah, you can't make soup of that right. you're American. you eat and then I started listening and said shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Because there, there, I have been in a restaurant that had dolphin, you know, on the menu. Really? Yeah. Wow. And dogs and cats. Right? And, yeah. yeah. A long mm -hmm. time ago. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My gosh. And he, he didn't want to hear that. Yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> he, had, he had principles, and I respected them. And now there's the, the DMV has a cookbook out now. Yes. So, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a book on drinks. You know, Todd's got a book mm -hmm. on drinks. So. Mm -hmm. Yes, which I have to get another copy of, because somebody wants one. On the, um, it's amazing working in a public library. The public library ladies... They don't play D&D, &D, they don't want to play D&D, &D, but boy, do they want all the swag that goes with them. Oh, nice. <laughs> and, and I, I'm supposed to bring gifties a, back from Barry. he's only got 20 signed copies here, so you okay. got to jump on it quick. So oh. He'll be back Wednesday night, so we have our next one Wednesday. He's going to bring in a couple friends who, first time they're at Gary Khan, to share what they're excited about from Wednesday. So, well, Dave, man, thanks. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate yeah, it. No problem. Yeah. yeah. Hope you... Uh, Hope you have a real good. I'll be. We'll be talking. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll be bumping into mm -hmm. each other. This is. Uh, we're looking forward Thank to. Thank you for the blast. Everything. Oh yeah. 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 Of course. Yeah. <laughs> See you. See you guys. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Dave. Yes, sir. <clears throat> we got time wise here. What do we have? Oh my gosh! Look at that. It's we've gone two full hours. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. We could go all night. There you go. Yeah. All night. <laughs> <laughs> I actually want to get to the bar at some point tonight. Uh, and I have a nine o'clock panel. 
Yeah, you do. So, you, uh, so Ed, you got three minutes. Is that right? No. Oh, no, it's eight o'clock, right? Jeez. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Hey, time well, so look, I have seven fifty-seven here, but my computer still says eight fifty-seven. So. Yeah, my computer wow. didn't change either. I don't understand. It's yeah, be intelligent. That's machines. insane. You know, people watch missiles. Okay. What's the panel missiles? on? Ed? Yeah. What's the panel on? No, uh, that's a late night. I was put on this panel. Uh oh. So the name of the panel is Players to Creators: mm -hmm. The New Way. Oh, cool. Mm. What it'll be about? Isn't it amazing that people, <coughs> someone think that, that people your age and maybe people my age are part of a new wave? Oh, yes. That's kind of amazing. We're a new wave. That gives me hope. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that gives me can hope. Can you get me to the morgue so yeah. I don't have to walk? Yep, <laughs> that, that gives, gives us hope. All of yes. us hope. Yep. Yes. Oh, you're in the audience for that one? Okay, that's, oh, that's awesome. awesome. Yep. Good uh -oh. deal. <laughs> Alex is there. That's so, fantastic. that means we have to behave. <laughs> yep. Well, you know. <laughs> We'll see how he does with Telgord, too. Um, oh, he oh yeah. Awesome. It's going to be, yeah. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a blast. Now, remember, <laughs> all the whole rest of Two Drink Minimum depends on Telgord yep. to get them out because and he's, he's the tank. So, and the healer. Yeah, yeah. so it's when both. you say you're going to die, you have to arrange to do it right at the end of the episode because <laughs> yeah. we need you up until then. <laughs> That's right. He's the tank and the healer. Yeah, he's the tank great. and the healer. And the, yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Zero it, Yes. Yeah. And you know what Anna is with Nira? She's the shooting in Millie combat. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. That archer just. I've, I've only him. created And you know what I am? Yeah, that's I'm true. the wizard yeah. who can never reach anybody with his spells once. because that's Jake has pre measured <laughs> all the distances. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was coined. Listen, the monsters know what they're yeah. doing. Yeah. 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 In, in Jay's case, the monsters are to soak us off hit points. <laughs> and then the big baddies come out and gloat for a little bit. <laughs> and then get us down to like one hit point, and then we kill them. Listen, Jay spends a lot of time writing those monologues, and he's going to get them out. That's it. I'm going to blow me a lot. It's him blow me. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear a peanut guy comments over there, Doug. What's mm -hmm. going on with that? So Ed, Ed gave me a great compliment, said, I know how to take it down and make the challenge go right down to yep. the wire, and I really yep. appreciated that. And it Ed. doesn't matter how much our characters level up you know you're going in for a hard fight. Now, if you want your D&D &D to be all intrigue and no fighting, Jay is not your man. But if you want a good, hard fight, like when two storied rival football teams come out on the field and they're just gonna smash mouth for the next couple hours, that is what Jay will give you every time. It, and you, you get to the end of it and you go, I've been through the ringer. <laughs> it's a good thing this is a cooperative diplomacy game. <laughs> so you're going to have a little bit of a, a, a little twist, Ed. Uh, you, um, the add-on character, I haven't told you this, um, is named Orist Rothschild. And I named him, uh, not his, but the other the other person who signed up, uh, got to sign up. And he, he talked about it, and he said he wanted to play Spellcaster. And I said, well, Ed plays a Greyhawk Mage, and Nathan is a fighter, is a fighter Mage Thief. So I want to give you a specialty one. So I'm throwing out one of my elementalists. So, um, by the way, uh, you know hockey, right? You were a hockey guy. Where did I get the Orist? Who had the first name Orist from the 70s? Mm. Yes, that's mm -hmm. where I got it from. So it was a fly, Orist Kinderchuck, right? Mm -hmm. He was my financial planner uh, for a while. Yeah, good guy, real good guy. He was your financial planner? Yes, because, you know, it was the 70s. They, 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 he won two Stanley Cup rings, but he didn't make a lot of no, money. No, no, none of them made Yeah, money. back in the day. Yeah. So no, he no. was in the financial planning, and uh, my wife and I, you know, really uh, utilized him a yeah. lot. Really nice guy. So Oris Rothschild is an Earth Elementalist, and he knows you from the the, uh, the, the, the Guild and College of Wizardry in Greyhawk. Ooh, so that, okay. So, he is, so we, we drank together. Yes, absolutely. So you'll get to see yeah. my Earth Elementalist class uh, go off with some neat spells on your side. Uh, so that'll be the add -on, one of the add-on characters. Yeah. So I want to change those. Just to bit. tell you how old I am, I was a fan of the Toronto Maple Leafs because I grew up in Toronto, and they all lived around me. There was a guy who played for the Toronto Maple Leafs who would not show up until the second period of every game <laughs> because his shift at the hardware store he yeah. worked at didn't <laughs> end until, and he had to walk from the hardware store because he didn't have money for public transit yeah, the days. to the games because they wouldn't pay him enough that he could afford public transit. So. All of you out there who are reading about the many multiple millions that the NFL players are re-signing for, yeah. there was a time when the world was sepia and light. And <laughs> yes, that's, and that's, 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 that's the role-playing game I've been 
and still are in yeah. a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah. So we might all be millionaires in a generation or two. Oh my gosh, a, oh. a golden kappa hype train is close. I've only oh. had one golden kappa. Right. So train. someone please hit train. that up, man. It's a golden... Look, you ever had a golden kappa? I've had one in all those yeah. years. Wow. Unbelievable. It's a rare. It's like one in like... 500 that they come up. Do I have to dance? No, well, I think so. Just, <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's, thanks. I've never seen... Yeah. Oh, come on. I probably oh. wanted to get Golden the hype train. Kappa. Yeah, get the hype train. There it is, everyone. All right, so I'll double <laughs> up for that. I'll double in the giveaway. We'll do two toilet right. game gifts as well. <laughs> wow. Look at that timing. Just I can't. They the put these damn lamps, lamps so low. Right. Right. The one right just in the right That's box. cool. Thank you very much, everyone. I, I know it, it's just... It's some kind of special hype train. I said... Six years I've had one. I know Darling just had one, and they're gonna like love. I think it was nine or ten they did uh, on that one uh, for the gold. Thank you. So um, why don't we all like uh, round table here and say, uh, you know, one thing we you know we really got going or looking forward to between now and Gary Con, have fun, uh, you know, uh, or say something that I look forward to meeting this person. I look forward, you know, whatever you want to talk about. And so Alex, what do you think? Visiting D and D Mecca. So hitting the museum, hitting all the, like every, Ed was talking about, the old place of business, uh, hitting the plaque, um, cool. going to the new museum setup that they have. Okay, yeah. let me add a few things. you got to hit the next door pub, even though it's been yes. rebuilt, and yes. you have to go to the corner of Clover and Pleasant, because... The shop no, no, no. <laughs> this is back streets. Okay. Jeff Grubb and Kate Novak lived in the second house, and the house in the corner... Stephen Shen rented the ground floor from the lady who lived, still lived in it all the way. Oh, and, and Kate made a little tiny water garden at the back, and the two houses were only six feet apart. So they made a little wandering path between them. That's awesome. And they would all hang out in the backyard, which was smaller than that room over there. Um, <laughs> to, yeah. But there were all sorts of cool little places. And, and, yeah. and I still remember encountering my first Ped Zing. And I said, what the hell's a Ped Zing? Yeah. And the local cop said, it's a pedestrian crossing. Don't you have them in Canada? And then somebody went zoom, straight through it. <laughs> Nearly mowed down a lady with a baby carriage. Oh. And the cop, the cop said, oh! And he, and he grabbed me from his cruiser and drove away. And I said, I guess they can't read in Lake Geneva either. <laughs> <laughs> so when are you, you going to think of those stories? When are you going to... Uh, that will have to be Wednesday because I'm in uh, Josh's crew again on Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> and you know how long that went the first day. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Well, and the and the only other landmark that's still there and unchanged is Bruno's Liquors. Oh, thanks, Wayne. Yeah. Does so, anyone need a delivery that I should pick up? No, no. Um, I'm, 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 okay. you know, Mr. Diabetic doesn't. Well, speaking of that, VIP parties, if anybody needs a bar back, I'm here. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. So, get, so you're getting in any way you want, man. You're trying to get in, <laughs> trying to get in that way. Yeah, yeah. I need the workout. So, I, I, so I, what I heard was now, not only Darling, is Darling going to be bartending next to Todd? Yeah. But Todd's going to be doing the bartending. That's what I heard, not yeah. in the first oh, part, no. but in the oh, second oh. part. Yeah, the Todd's going to, yeah, so, yeah. I, I, I'm Todd's I, don't, I, don't, <laughs> I don't think uh, Darling is streaming tonight. Or she no, don't worry about it. She's off. She's off. Okay. All right. Cool. So <laughs> they might be probably, we'll probably be raining into Phoenixie tonight, everyone. Just so you're aware. So Todd is yes. That's what it, darling. That's what we heard. Todd said they asked him to bartend. So yes, that's what we were told. A garner may throw in some drinks in there too. So uh, just yep. Mm. This is the stuff we're finding out while it's we're here. Not every day you'll have a Starfleet captain. Exactly. Right. Yes, a Starfleet captain. Next to you, bartending, yes. And one of the nicest guys in the world. Mm -hmm. Great guy. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, um, and a brilliant D&D player. Yep. Great yeah. strategies. He Absolutely. Comes strategies. Oh, he was blasting away yeah. today. Yeah. Blasting away. Magic missiles, cold snaps, fireballs, all sorts of stuff. Because he's like, I'm not going to be here tomorrow. So, you know, so he, he really went to town. They, we, they had fun. So, I didn't even talk about, I didn't even talk about Farrison at all. Tomorrow we finish it. They kind of found the secret. If you know the adventure, they found the secret doors in the temple level that go with the rungs that go down 333 feet into the depths. Now, I kind of nosed them a little bit. So I kind of convinced them, you don't want to go down there yet. 
and they went down into the dungeon level, and that's where they are now. So we'll finish that up tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is such a it is such a crazy adventure. The big f- the fights are at the beginning, not the end. The big combat is right at the beginning. So that was that was nuts. So it, 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 Gary wrote it that way. So mm-hmm. really really cool. But we'll see. We'll finish that up tomorrow. Uh, we've got a nice crew tomorrow morning. So. Um, so Kirk, what are you looking for? What do you got going? What are you looking for? Uh, honestly, uh, I've made a lot of friends in the community over the last year, year and a half or so, and uh, almost all of them are going to be here at GaryCon. So having a few beers with friends cool, and man. rolling some nights with friends. That is awesome. That is that's what it's all about. He said the community. This is going to be the biggest amount of the girl community we've ever had at a con all together at the same time. By far. So I'm mm-hmm. I'm really excited about that. What are you looking forward to? Uh, yeah, same. Uh, you know, a lot. Uh, you know, pretty much everybody's going to be here, so it, it, it's nice to see everybody. And then, yeah, just doing my thing, running games for people, making people happy. I mean, that's what that's what I'm here for. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Anna. <laughs> well, the next couple of days will be a lot of uh, prepping for seminars, helping yeah. Josh and stuff like that. <laughs> then it wraps up for the actual so next nice. convention, so to speak. So. So then it will be a lot of fun again because thankfully my kind of job I I work a lot for the con before the con ha- happens and much less during the con. Right. Yep. We got a lot going on. You know, oh yeah. A lot going on yeah. coming up. So mm-hmm. really some unbelievable stuff. Yep. How about you, Ed? What what, what do you think, man? No, I'm the same. Yeah. It's seeing all the old TSR heads. Yeah. Yep. Um, and realizing how much time has passed because hey. Who are all these old people? And what have they done with the people I remember? Uh, and 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 all the friends I've made in gaming since, like say Alex Cameron and so on. Yeah. You know, and and the legacy of World's Crew, because they will all arrive time to set up. And so will my guys, Ivan oh, and so on. Cool. Yeah. Um, and then they will sit there discussing how the same sort of stuff you were discussing earlier about how to get this computer to talk to that thing to do that. Yeah. And and I will I will giggle and drink. Um, because I think, oh, thank God I don't have to deal with tech. There are people in the world who yeah. deal with tech because I'm an old fart. But um, it will be a chance just to get together. And the other cool thing is getting to meet people that the realms has meant a lot to who come up and shake my hand and thank me and want me to sign their body part. Awesome. And I do. Yeah. Um, seriously, I'm not making this up. I know you're not. I know. I was saying you were going to start describing I've seen the it. body parts. No, no, I stopped. Yeah. You see? I'm on my... You're I'm, behaving. I'm just going to say best behavior, but no. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, it's that. It's that getting together with gamers. Yeah, our, tri- yeah, our tribe is assembling, and it is a wonderful feeling. Because instead of being the only weirdo in town who does this stuff, you realize there's a legion of people out here who do this stuff. Yep. Oh yeah, absolutely. And there are there are people out there that you're like, man, I didn't, you know, just if I said five years ago that Ed Green would be massaging my shoulders, right, about playing a board game, you know what I'm saying? Or or you know, you, I'm putting well, that's Jay. Extreme. <laughs> I'm just like, wow, amazing. All right, so great work. So, enjoy your golden cap of emotes and all that stuff. There we go. We had a golden. We had a golden cap of like. Yeah, but I just, it's just, this is a le- this is a level that, a, like, us as kids, I never would have thought, you know, you don't think this. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. This con no, no, brings, no. this kind brings you the opportunity to come here and, and meet, just meet everyone that was involved, that's still here, and, and, you know, mm-hmm. and, and just interact, playing their games, and, yeah. mm-hmm. right? I mean, you've, you've hit the, you've hit the golden yeah, round table like already. A, like, yeah. the other cons out there, we just, Right. Just sitting there talking to yeah. them, drinking mm-hmm. with them. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's fantastic. Yeah. It is such a such an honor to, to be here. Yeah. Uh, the the other the yeah. only other thing that's like that is at Game Hole Con. Yes, right. They, they host right drinks with authors, yeah. and you literally sit there until they close the con center. Um, oh wow! The drinks run out very quickly, <laughs> um, but you just sit around talking. So it's a chance to yeah. find out things, ask your favorite author. Why did you do this? When's why is that missing from that book? When's the next book? And usually, after they've had a few drinks, um, you will get candid answers. So it's like gold. If you're a fan of this author or that author, you know Peter Brett will come every year, and then you get to ask them, okay, well, what's the next book? 
Oh, why did you do this in this book? Why didn't you do that? What did you have planned? And you'll probably get candid answers. And it's always held right next to Monty Cook Games' sell it, selling area. And Monty and Shannon and, and all the staff will be hanging out answering questions and asking questions. And because it's all about heavy game design, you can say, okay, what if you took that four-player thing and turned it to an eight-player thing but in teams? And you'll probably get an answer of why we tried that and it didn't work, or huh. yeah, that would be cool and we'll put it in another game, or you know, that sort of thing. You'll get game design, so you can just sit there and talk about everything. It's great. Yeah. Well, Ed, thanks. Mm-hmm. Thanks, thanks Thank a lot. You. You, I, I know you got a roll because you got another panel. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'll say this. We'll Stop finish. hitting the table. Sorry, <laughs> Duff. You know I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm a nervous guy. You don't want a percussion. Nervous in the South Jersey accent, man. So, finish this tomorrow. Next stream, Anna and I will be on at 6 p.m. Central Daylight Time, Wednesday. And that will kick off. I know we're dual stream on GaryCon Live. We appreciate the people who are watching there. Um, Thank you. We got 100 people watching here, which is wonderful. Really appreciate it. We are going to be on dual again, and we'll be three hour long. And I know that. We're going to get Luke stop in. Eric Moynihan will be here and stopping in. Yeah. Todd's going to bring, bring his friends in. I know Ed will be coming back because Ed always is around if he has the time. Sure. Uh, and we'll yeah. have a lot of other people mm-hmm. walking in and just saying, what I'm going to have as many people from the community that has made it here at that point. Yeah. I know Darling and, and, and uh, I think Darling well, we and can, Bones and Miriam won't be here yet, just unfortunately, or have them come in. Out. I think they don't get into... Yeah. They get into like ten o'clock, I think, Wednesday yeah. night. So, so yeah, but 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 Bird and Coco will be here. So, and we'll have a lot of other people from the community. We'll, add, we'll invite everyone in just to, to, to come through. Yeah, 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 yeah easier. Yeah. So uh, for me, and then the schedule really gets crazy. <laughs> Multiple seminars, right? Multiple oh, yeah. seminars. Yep. Street uh, DMing every day. This is this is cake this weekend. Mm-hmm. This weekend's cake compared to what's going to happen to Gary Cott. Yeah. Next weekend's work. Oh, my gosh, yes. <laughs> now, I also, for the first time ever, I never had signed up for a game to play in. Ooh. And I did. Saturday, after our game with Two Drink Minimum, I signed up for Stefan's game. Ooh. Okay? That'd but, be fun. Yes. But I'm going to go, and I'm going to, because Stefan, you know Stefan, he's easygoing. So I'm going I'm to take Bird and Cook over, and I'm going to let them, I say, can they play my character? So they can play in Stefan's game. Okay. Yeah, he won't care. He won't care. So I'm gonna take them and let them play, and I'll I'll watch in reverse. So yeah, we're, so that, I rarely have signed up, but Stefan, I know it's all diamond and the platinum badge people in that game. I think Robert's in that game too. So uh, you know, just we'll have fun with that. And then there's parties every night, right, Duff? You, you you're really looking forward to that. All right. So uh, let's do. Hope I can do this. We're gonna do two troller game gift certificate giveaways here. Let me set this up. Let's call exclamation point drawing, please. I'll give you all 15 seconds. I don't have shout outs because of, uh, I don't have my stream deck programmed in here. That's so. Luck, good luck for, for the stream. You don't do any wrong buttons. Yes, I don't do any wrong buttons <laughs> Except because. everything is worked fine when you don't have it, it's, deck. it's great, but I don't have sponsors showing. <laughs> it was wonderful. I mean, I, this is awesome because yep. uh, Duff has done all the work. And Jimmy, thank you so very much for doing this. Really appreciate it. Yep. Thank you. This has been great. Yeah, exclamation point drawing. We'll see who wins tonight. We're going to raid into Phoenix uh tonight, I believe. Yep. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll, I think I don't have another stream teaming partner live. And so we'll get two raids into him, right? We'll do uh, raid us in and then Gary Count live in. You can do them both, right, Duff? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Let me <laughs> see that up real quick. <laughs> <laughs> double shot. A double shot. So uh, here we go. Let me do Here come the winners. It's tech. You just push a button. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just tech. <laughs> here we go. Oh, he there, has right? jesters. <laughs> <laughs> See, now, Ed's yeah. learning. Ed's learning to even bust stones here. So oh, here we go. Closing it out. Let's see who wins. Oh, great. It's closed and it didn't show it. It updated. So I got to do this. And I got to give me a second. Everyone's just doing it. Well, you can so raid on your channel because you're in. I will raid into it. I will do the raid. I will raid in. I will raid in. No, 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 no. I just said you can do Gary Khan live as well. Yeah, give me a second here. I got to do the giveaways first. Yeah, yeah. Because it's not. I got to pick winners now, and I got to wait for it to come come back up here. Stupid thing. 
Give me one sec. Wrong button, folks. Yeah, no, it's not the wrong button. This thing doesn't update. It's it, like it doesn't. He's not wrong. That thing messes up all yeah, the time. Yeah. Winner. Hey. No, I got no. I got his back on this one. That Coco. This thing is older than me. And yeah. Coco won. Wow. And Sam Wise. There you go. The two winners. Coco and Sam Wise. Grats. Wow. All right. We'll Discord. I have the codes. I will Discord them both to you. Hopefully, I'm not too intoxicated tonight, but I will get them to you tonight, okay? So, Jay, you have them. So. You'll never be intoxicated. <laughs> that that's it true. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. No. Oh, that's right. Nothing counts while I'm here. You, Nothing you, you, counts. Yeah. counts. Yes, that is true. All right, let me. All right, so we're going to raid into uh, we're gonna raid into Phoenix Iwaki tonight. Sound good? Thank you all for watching. Yep. Thank you Thank all you. for please, for coming. I hope you had a good time with the discussion. Yeah. Thanks, Alex. Thanks. Thanks, Mike Merles. Thanks, Legends of Avantress. Thanks, Kurt. Thanks, Brett. Thanks. I'm not thanking Josh. Thanks, Garner. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Austin. Garner. Austin. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Austin. We, thank you all for coming. Did I miss anyone? No, no, you're good. Was that? Thank okay. You're good. All right. Awesome. All right. Let's uh, let me set the rate up here, and then we will get out of here. And everyone have a great evening. We'll see you next stream Wednesday, the same time, 6 p.m. Central, 7 Eastern. All right. Let's do this. And I can only imagine what you go through here meeting people. <laughs> just meeting some of these people in a small group for the first time. And I'm shouting their names out in the hallway after. I'm like, hey, I know you. And yeah. Like you, I caught you around the corner the other day. And you're like, all right, hey, see ya. <laughs> I feel I feel like naked without my without my stuff. You know, need your buttons. Yeah, I, yeah, my buttons and my, uh, and my uh, yeah. So Gary Conley went in first. Like there you go. Buttons. And we got another, wow. I used Nine, to have my wife. 90, 102. <laughs> nice. Five, four, three, two, one. See you Wednesday night. Wow. Nice. 102. <laughs>